Good evening, good evening, good evening. We are close, so close. No disrespect to Sheffield United. And who's Arsenal playing again this weekend? Remind me. I can't hear you muted. Everton. Everton, Everton. Woo! Oh, my goodness. That should be a gimme game for you guys. Um, really no nice. disrespect to them. We're already, already get excited for Arsenal, Tottenham. It should be wild. Uh, both teams coming in form. Well, depends what happened this weekend. Both teams should be able to uh, pull out a victory um, if and if um, they take this team seriously. But um, but even then, I, I expect a positive result. And we'll, we'll talk about that um, later. It's a special episode because it's been International Week. And so today, tonight, we're going to talk about the Arsenal and Spurs Ultimate 11. Ultimate 11 team. After that, we'll try to do a current, as of today, Ultimate 11. Might, might be a little bit more Arsenal people in there. Possibly. Who knows? Currently, inform Ultimate 11, and then we'll preview these weekend shows, but uh, Stefan, you know, though you're a gooner, you're, you're a gentleman, so we, we, we're going to start with the ladies first, right? We're going to introduce <laughs> the ladies, and, and I'm going to start in a weird way, because we have a guest, first time streaming, I've, I've seen her a couple of times, no pressure, but we have <laughs> we have just a girl who loves Spurs, Kate. How are you doing, sister? I'm doing good, thank you. Excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, man, it is an honor. When Ellie's like, I got her phone number. I was like, you know, because I have everybody's phone numbers. You know? <laughs> I, I, you know, I need to have everybody's phone numbers, but, you know, it, it, it's hard. But when she said she's going to bring on Kate, I was like, oh, okay, it, it, it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good night. <laughs> so, um, you know. Oh, don't want to get uh, the husband jealous, you know. Uh, just a man who <laughs> loves Spurs. Uh, I'm too. You know, not home record. Not home record. So, uh, uh, yeah, so it's an honor to have you on. And then we have the queen. Stephanie, Steph, did you know that she actually played for Spurs? Did you oh, know? Oh, wow. Queen? Wow, that's yeah. awesome. That's cool. The Drew's Builder attacking. Nice. What yeah. a just like Gaza oh, and Modric. Wow. That's awesome. For better. Wow, yeah, so we, for better, yeah. No, but wait, was, it, was, the, was the women's team for Spurs when you played pro? or, 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 or Yeah, or, we were pro, but we yeah. weren't recognised by the club early doors. Uh -huh. And it was only until 1985 when um, they formed from Broxbourne Ladies. They just merged and our team merge with them but mm -hmm. i never went on to the that team because i just retired i had too many injuries mm -hmm. and i went into coaching instead yeah wow that's 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 amazing that's that's really cool <laughs> that's yeah awesome. i enjoyed my career i'm telling you <laughs> that's br brilliant yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Thank you so much. how are you feeling tonight yeah, I'm um, I'm cool tonight. I'm glad that Kate, my my lovely ladies, with me as well because we love Spurs with a passion, just like her name says. Just a girl who loves Spurs. I'm just the Spurs lady who loves Spurs. Come on, let's bring it on, the Gooners. Let's bring them on. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't oh, go yeah. soft. They 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 don't go hard on you. Don't go hard on you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Don't 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 let the looks fool you. They they they're ready to slice and dice and go with. <laughs> uh, T is running a little late, but he will be here and he will be here with a guest. If I, if I can remember her name, but she's gonna be coming on. So it will be three on three. But in the meantime, I just want to give a big up to Jim. Uh, like I was just talking about him, just a man who loves Spurs. Uh, Adrian, yeah, yeah. a big up to Adrian, a big up to Disabled Team, big up, big support of the channels, uh, big up to Lewis, big up, big up, big up to Daniel, 
a big up, um, a big up to Goguma, uh, Goguma. Minerals. 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 Jim, we will take good care, good care. care. Um, Okay, and then um, we got Ian. Not Ian, right? We got Ian. We got got a big supporter right here. Um, We got... uh, That's a true one. First TV. (laughs) Yeah. So, while we wait, I do want to talk about this subject, and um, and it it could definitely... um, Give some input on this, Stefan. Uh, Stefan is um, Richie. Uh, the news has come out that he is going to get some seek some mental health. Um, me being a mental health counselor, um, it's very huge, very important. That now in sports, um, in this day and age, it's very, very huge in regards to taking care of your mental health. Um, what happened in Brazil, he was just subbed off and I guess Bolivia, where he really missed he really missed some easy sitters. I mean he's surrounded by Rodrigo, Anisha's Jr., Neymar, like like all the talent in the world. Um it is it's it's just his confidence is shocked. And so he was bad and he was very, very upset. Um really unsuccessful international break. You know, because he scored that beautiful header in the World Cup. Um, not header, a uh, beautiful, uh, what's the scissor kick? Oh, yeah. Scissor yeah. Kick. yeah. Yeah. And so um, he's coming back to Spurs. People, the debate, people also say the debate, is it mental with him or is it just bad play? I I, I, I tend to look at it's 50-50. I just, it's, it's just when you don't have it, you just don't have it. But okay. it becomes even worse when you're going through a mental, uh, just really going through it mentally, you know social media, people are grilling you. You know in the stadium, people are grilling you. You're probably getting those looks from your teammates like, So um, we'll we'll start counterclockwise. Um, Ellie, Richie, getting mental health. Um, How important it is for him? Will it make a difference? You know, or is it just he's not... Go ahead, so sorry. He's just not. He's just not to go through. All right, so sorry. Great song, great song, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a sweet symphony. Um, so I'll pose that question to you, Ellie, Richie. Yeah. Richie, do you know what it is with him? Right, he sometimes he tries a bit too hard. You know, like runs around like a blue ass flyer and then he runs out of energy and then his touch has been quite awful. Yeah, on the pitch. He, he when he's receiving the ball, it bounces off him. But in terms of his mental health, he's trying to put that right. Cause sometimes, you know, if you go on a football pitch and your mental state is not good, it it affects you, right? And it shows with him because he's trying too hard. And he's probably outside of his life. He's trying too hard to please people as well. So sometimes you've got to take a step back, seek help, try try to see if you can repair the things that are going through in your mind mentally so that when you go on that pitch, you're chilled out and you, you find your best form. Because we know... Right, a lot of people have said that Richie hasn't done it in the past, but if you look at his record, 46 in 135 for Everton, so that's one in three. So it's not dreadful, like some people are saying, right? And he's got 20 in 44 for for um, Brazil. So that's nearly one in two. So his record is pretty good. You know, it's just when he goes on that pitch for Spurs, I think he's, maybe it's the price tag, I don't know, but... He's got to sort out his mental state to move on. And it'll be best if he stays away from the team for a little while. And it'll be best that the club don't even put him on the bench. Let him get his head straight and then mm-hmm. come back uh, rejuvenated, hopefully. You know, and also they've got to work on his, not just his mental state, they've got to work on him on the whole. 
you know, as a footballer as well. You know, yeah. so that's all I've got to say, really, because at the end of the day, it's up to him as well to put his own self right as well and get away from all the people that were bringing him down as well, like he said. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who just came in, first of all, it's an honor to have a uh, friend who is on the Arsenal side uh, pick up. And we have. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to boo a lady. <laughs> no. Who is, uh, uh, I think he's Spurs. Yeah, yeah, he is Spurs. Uh, but uh, but he the is the most wonderful <laughs> man at Spurs because you know Daniel Levy just turned him down for an invite. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he is the most hated. So so he he, he he is really hated by Spurs. They know him. They know him. Um, uh, we're just um, want to talk. We're waiting for you guys to come, and we're still waiting for TJ. TJ should be in a couple of minutes before we go to the Spurs Arsenal Ultimate Eleven wow. overall, and then Ultimate Eleven today. But we just want to talk about Richie because that's a big news of mental health. The whole Deli Ali uh, has come out. Um, he's had a he had a terrible time in Brazil, terrible time, and almost people in Brazil booing him. And so now he's coming back. He's going to get mental health. So I'm just going around, start with the ladies, because I'm a gentleman. Um, Kate is going to go next, and Fran. Uh, how important is mental health in regards to the player? And with with um, with Richie, is it 50-50? Because, like I said, his form has really been bad. So how much of it is mental health? How much is just technique? Um, um for me obviously mental health is massively important um it's still considered quite taboo but it's a massively important thing we all saw what happened with Delhi Ali um I was guilty of judging Delhi I thought he was lazy and and whatnot but he had a lot going on that obviously we didn't know about however I think we have to be careful because it's very easy for out of form players to turn around and say well it's my mental health that's suffering when really you know, this is going to sound extremely harsh on my point, but Richie just isn't good enough. You know, he could go and see 10,000 psychologists, but ain't going to make him a better football player. And he is just not good enough. You know, his highest goal tally for Everton was 13 goals. He's not cutting the mustard. You know, if he has got a crisis of confidence and, and he's getting all this hate and he can't cope with it and he thinks the psychologist will help, great but at the same time if you're a professional athlete or an actor or anyone in the public eye you open yourself up to be criticized that's just how it is that's why you're paid mega money I'm not saying it's right I mean social media can be vile but at the same time he's 25 26 years old if he hasn't developed a thick enough skin to put up with it now I'm not sure there's anything that anyone can do to change that but as a, from a human perspective, I just hope whatever's going on with him, he can get it sorted out. But I wish he would leave our club as soon as possible. <laughs> I'd have him straight up his now in January. <laughs> I, I feel you, Kate. I, I feel you, Kate. Oh, it's... Savage. <laughs> savage. Fred, um, from an outsider's oh, perspective, from an outsider's perspective, do you see us the same, or is it more like, you know, is he just crap? And, and yes, the mental health is very important, and maybe the abuse maybe for fans online, or, I mean, what what do you think? Oh, you're mute. You're mute. You're oh, mute. my God. That's a terrible intro to the channel. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for having me on. I've been watching you guys for, like, ages, watching you. That sounds really creepy. Um, <laughs> thank you for inviting me on. Um, I think I would always um, be wary of like saying that, like some people have said in the comments, that they're doing it like as an excuse or as a shield. Like you can't, you can't criticize me because mental health. Because I think coming out with something as vulnerable as that just opens you up for even more criticism. Like. I've seen people just say like minor mental health things on Twitter and people just come at them like you're faking, you're doing this for attention. Blah, blah, blah. So I think there's 
and you don't you don't want to make yourself look weak or perceive to be perceived to have mental health struggles as a footballer if you don't have to I don't think anyone would like I don't know maybe I'm being naive but um I don't see why someone in that position would fake that sort of problem but maybe I am being naive um however I really do respect it um you know speaking up about it as Delhi Ali has done recently and I think it can have such such a huge impact if you do go and get therapy for example to work out your confidence issues you might be getting in the way of yourself you might not have the right mindset I think every every footballer needs to be having like seeing psychologists and sports science people like to help if they want to be the best athlete possible to have the best mentality um so I I think he probably means it and it's a really big step I just think like we're kind of biased against him because he has had such bad performances so because we like don't like him because like he's not scoring or whatever then if he comes out with something like this he's more likely to be hated on for it and not believed than if a beloved player like Son for example came out and said he needed to get this sort of help yeah. um, that's kind of my take on it yeah Stefan um, your, your take uh I'm I'm a bit more uh, I'm I'm I would say I'm a bit more even though I'm I'm not that old I would say I'm a bit more uh, old school when it when it comes to this I think that uh, it's for Richarlison to say this especially from him I think it's a bit rich because last season I remember I think it was after the Milan Champions League game where he came out in an interview where he kept on going that he needed a, a run of games to showcase his quality. You know, he put, as they say, he put all the chips on the table. And then when he did get a run of games this season, he was terrible. So now suddenly it's, oh, but I have mental health issues. That's why I'm bad. For me, this is, uh, I just, I don't have, in terms of, it, uh, you know, if you look at previous examples that have that have used this kind of explanation for their poor form, Jaden Sancho used it, even though J Jaden Sancho had had issues, you know, being on time on, on practice at Dortmund and Man City. So for me, I really hope that the actual cause of mental health is a big issue and people need a lot of help, especially during the pandemic. There was, you know, huge amounts of of just mental health problems and i hope footballers nowadays they realize that they're in an industry which is which there is a lot of media attention one and there's pressure and i remember one one of my favorite athletes uh he was an american football player a great american football player he, he said this football isn't for everyone he said this and if you cannot handle the pressure of playing for a big club if you can't take the criticism when you're bad, then maybe this isn't for you. And maybe you shouldn't just say, oh, you know, mental health is this, uh, you know, it's, you know, I'm going to go see a, a psychologist. For me, I, in my opinion, maybe I'm really harsh. Uh, I just think that's just that soft. You, 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 you cannot just use that. A lot of people have, have mental health issues in their own personal lives. That doesn't mean that they use it as an excuse for their own performance. And the moment you actually create that in the actual dressing room, in my opinion, when other young players see that and they see that a player who's playing terribly, who maybe, who maybe doesn't have the best habits like a Sancho or R R R Richarlison, they will, they, they, they will also copy that behavior. So for me, I just think uh, it's, it's an easy out nowadays because nobody can actually qu question it and say, oh, you, you know, you know that he's you know you, nobody has the heart to say oh Richarlison stop saying that you're you're just you're just faking it so yeah I'm not as sympathetic towards him especially especially because last season he came out in that interview saying that Conte should play me I'm the big man I, you know I I need to show that that I can play well you know you you haven't so yeah, that's that's that, that's my that's that's my opinion Mm. Can I can I just chip in quick? First of all, if he if he is like faking it, then that's so bad as well. Like it gives a bad name to those of us who do suffer. Because I, I find I get quite personal about this. Um, but the reason for his poor performances could be 
like that he's realized that oh i've got an anxiety issue or oh like i've got depression or something like that um because just as a personal example i used to be like an amazing writer i know it's really niche um like writing essays and things like that and then i developed like anxiety depression things like that and i couldn't string together two sentences so sometimes that can actually be the underlying cause for why you're not playing well so i just think it's like it's a difficult ground to just go accusing someone because if he is really suffering and people are saying you're just faking it mate that is so invalidating so i think it's a, it's a bit like i always believe people who say it just in case it is really an issue um but everyone's it, like i totally get what you're saying as well no no, no i just I, i'm not saying he's faking it but I, I just want you if you go back maybe 10 15 you literally years, said he's faking it stefan <laughs> I, I mean, okay, I'm, man, saying I'm it. not saying, okay, okay, oh, you know, I'm just saying if I look at the great, the great, you know, footballers of before, the great, like the real, have you ever heard like a great footballer have a, have a bad run of form and then come out and say, I'm going to need to see a, 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 a psychologist? No, they say, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to crack down. I'm going to, I'm going to work out. I've had issues with uh, anxiety also. I, I also struggle with, but for me, uh, to use it as an excuse for your for your poor performances for me, I think personally, it's just it, it's an easy out because it it protects you from media attention because the media now, if they criticize him for his performances, everybody's gonna say that oh, but you're picking on him because he's seeing a psychologist now. He he he, <laughs> he has he has mental health issues, so that's why I just think it's it's not the best arena to use uh, in terms of to actually increase awareness for 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 mental health in my opinion like i just I, I just don't see how like in an interview i i didn't get what was the point and and the other thing is like you know you need to manage manage your emotions better you cannot react like like when he's playing bad for spurs he starts putting his head down he starts moaning he starts throw he starts like you know throwing up his hands and you know that's I, for me that's that's a person that is overly emotional that, that that doesn't show me as someone who's you know who has like a a lack of a lack of confidence for me that that tells me that he expects of himself a lot because he expects himself to actually score goals to, to, to actually do things if you look at someone from from arsenal for example kai havertz kai havertz looks like someone who needs a psychologist when you look at him on the pitch He's, you know, he's he looks like he's a shell of him uh, 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 of himself when he's playing. So it's just, yeah. I think it's a really fine line when you start using mental health na nowadays, especially for for football players, as a as a I would say um, a explanation for your uh, for your poor form. That's just can that's I just my, maybe, maybe I'm harsh. Can I'm I sorry. Just I don't know. Well, I think. Richarlison really does care. And the way he shows that he cares is through emotion because he's a very emotional man. Men men generally don't show that much emotion on the football pitch when they've played badly. When they play well and they score and you see all sorts of emotions. But I think it's a good trait of his that he actually, I think he cares. And that's why he he judges himself more harshly than anybody else. And that's why he throws a tantrum maybe on the pitch because he realises that he's not playing to his full potential. Because he's not a bad player. He's not a bad player. He's just having bad form. He, he has is. played well. He has played well in the past. He's not very not, good. He's so not good. terrible. Listen, like, there's, there's players that are like he Habert, is so probably the harshest person. Better than Habert, but I'm telling you. But he's going through a bad patch, yeah. right? And I think he does care. And that's why he gets so emotional. I don't yeah. think anybody's – this. sorry, and, and sorry I'm late, everybody. Hi, my name's TJ. I, I, I co-host the show with Mari. Um, I, I, um, I, uh, I, I just want to say Rashalison is bad. He is a bad player. He is not good at all. Um, but I do agree that he's very emotional. Like, cause his his yellow card to goal ratio because he couldn't keep his shirt on after scoring two offside goal last goals last season, um, you know you could tell that he's very emotional. Um, but he's he's 
I agree with I agree with what Fran said about about mental health issues and and how how that could affect some players. And, you know, if he needs to go and get the help that he needs, that's good. And honestly, like I'm not even trying to dig at Spurs, but I sort of am. It's only going to help him if he takes a break and he and he goes and gets the help that he needs. And maybe if he goes and gets the help that he needs, he'll be um, a, a below average player instead of just an absolutely dross one. But 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 guys, wait, sorry, to inter- don't you think it, this is just the wrong type of culture? You can't just say, "I'm I'm just life is tough. I'm gonna take a break." Like, come on! Like, are, are we? Yeah, are we like, you can't just say, he ha- You can't discard it. You can't discard it either because you look at the likes of Gary Spade, and you nobody knew what was going true. on behind closed doors. So you, very true. It's such a touchy subject you've got to be so careful but I also think you have to say if you start setting a precedent like Eric Dyer coming out and saying oh well I've just been suffering with mental health issues I'm going to see a psychologist and try and get back into the team then you start thinking hang on a minute you know this this is going the wrong way but you can't just blanket it and say and disregard it because you've seen it so many times people will put this smile on their face and nobody knows what's going on behind Correct. Mm-hmm. Correct. One hundred percent correct. Let you tells, uh, um, mm-hmm. I'll let you have the last word on it. <laughs> uh, uh, is it is it fifty fifty? Oh, I can't is wait for this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put a number on it because we don't know no, what the plan is. Uh, 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 for, for, first of all, good evening, everyone. Big up to all of you. Big up to the Spurs. Big up to the Arsenal frauds that have joined us, especially <laughs> TJ. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Look, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna go off on a tangent, and then I'm gonna bring it back in, and you'll understand why. Okay, so okay. Contrary to what Mari says, that Spurs hate me. The, yeah, the board absolutely hate me, no doubt. <laughs> but the academy, they quite, they kind of like me, right? So for those of you who don't know, I get to go to the academy quite often through my work and what I do. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna be at the academy actually in two weeks' time. I'm gonna meet the new academy director. I've been invited. I've been invited in with thirty other coaches, so I'm looking forward to that. There's some questions I want to ask him about our youth and how he's gonna restructure it. And um, one thing they do in the academy, right? I'm gonna bring it back to Richardson. I just want to, just to see where I go with this. I've always said to them, don't you think it's a bit crazy bringing in kids who are seven, eight, nine? Don't you think they're too young for this? They're under pressure. You're giving them contracts. And this is their response, okay? I don't necessarily agree with it, but I I get why they do it. And they say to me, we potentially are going to pay one of these young kids £100,000 a week one day. There is no way we can pay someone that money if they can't handle the pressure they're going to be put under at the elite level of sports with 60,000 fans cussing your mum, your dad, booing you, and all sorts of shit. So if they can't handle this pressure, how can we justify paying them the money they're then going to go and play in the arena and and, and completely collapse. Mm. So these young footballers are under immense pressure. Don't get don't get wrong. Every pro club tries to relieve as much pressure as they can, but they're under pressure because you know two thousand kids go through the academy. One gets a pro contract, for example, um, mm. at Spurs. Doesn't mean others don't go to other clubs. But it's it's it's, it's and to get and to be one of those two thousand, that's from a pool of maybe you know a couple hundred thousand. So. The reason I've mentioned this is because as a pro football player, you've got to be able to handle the pressure. You just have to. Otherwise, you can't justify your salary. That's why, you know, top managers, they get sacked because they just can't handle the moment. It gets too much for them or they're not happy. Whatever it may be, you get paid big money because you're supposed to deliver on the bigger stage. And that's how it works. And the problem we've got here as Spurs fans is Richarlison has not delivered at all. And, 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 and and for me, there's two separate things. You've got the human being and the footballer. As a human being, I'm not going to judge whether he's got mental health issues or not. I don't know him. If he has, I hope he gets help. I hope he fixes up on a human level. I'm a little bit softer than Stefan on this stance. I hope if he genuinely has issues, my man fix up because football is not as big as, as you, your family and, and your mental well-being, right? But as a footballer, I agree with Kate. He's a disaster for Spurs. We should never have signed him. He doesn't fit what Spurs need. He was never, ever going to feel or come close to filling the, the, the boots of, of Harry Kane. Uh, hardly anyone will, but he's he's probably the last one on your list. None of our rivals, Chelsea, Liverpool, City, Arsenal, United, would have signed this guy. 
None of them. Yet we've gone in and spent 65 million. It was madness. And he's paying the price of that, I think. And, you know, he, he was an average footballer at best. And whatever's happening now has made him below average. So even even if he gets the mental health and he fixes up and he's and he, and he, on a human level, he gets back to where he was, that's not going to teach him technical ability. That's not going to teach him how to be a, a top quality football player. So I, I think what Spurs have to do is they have to help him through this period, get him back to where he's in a happy mental state of mind, and then sell him. That's what I think is the perfect play. If you, you make, pitch him now, we're absolute assholes. You make, we, you make, we, we are, because it's, it's, a, it's a dereliction of just well-being of your players. But if we, if we keep him long-term after he's better, then we're not winning anything with this guy, in my view. So that's my take on it. Mm -hmm. I was just going to really quickly add, you make a really good point about the screening process of like who you sign into the club. Um, for example, like the well, we British Army. Anyone. <laughs> the, the British <laughs> Army, my sister wanted to apply, but because in the last five years, she's had some treatment for mental health issues. They just won't let you in. Like even if you're mm. okay at the moment, it's just because they know that the amount of pressure and stress you're going to be under in, in the armed forces, they just can't afford like weak, like weaknesses like that, even though it's not your fault or whatever, doesn't make you a bad person, but maybe something like that, like clubs need to be looking at where they've got like an, a history with anxiety, things like that. And then maybe get them a couple of years clear of like needing treatment, then sign, for example, just to avoid like all these problems and the hate that the player's going to get. It's just, so yeah, screening. Do you, know, do, do, do you know what the other issue as well is, right? And and this is just, this is just a society issue. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people nowadays or, the, or, or recently they would play the race card. They'd use the whole race card as a way to get out of a situation when racism hadn't happened. And by doing that, they actually hurt the people that are being racially abused because then you're discrediting the whole purpose of it. I now feel, I now feel we're at a place where the yeah. mental health card gets played. Completely, when people yeah. don't have it. But, yeah, I'm not, but, but, but I'm not saying that's the case with Richarlison, but because now people, I think, look at mental health, is this guy just doing it to get out of trouble or has he genuinely got an issue? Yep. You, 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 you can't you can't you can't have an opinion on it because if they do have it well you're in the mud and and you've actually probably hurt them more but what if they are doing it and and this is where i think that screening process you talk about yeah. comes in i guess but i don't know I've, 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 i'm always careful when it comes to these topics because if you say that one wrong thing you're finished yeah yeah you do, you're yeah, like, yeah. You, you're very careful because even when i counsel students mm. You know, sometimes, you know, a student will bring that up just to gather trouble. You know, they bring me, bring me the student. The student has just caught, you know, I don't know, shoplifting or whatever. And then they bring in mental health. And it's kind of like, you're now bringing it up, you know, because you just got caught in trouble. And so you kind of have to kind of discern, okay, is this, you know, are you BSing me or this is like legit? And so it's kind of now, Screening is very, very, very important. Um, Mark, in regards yeah. to to mental health, I'll give uh, Stephen the last word, and then we'll go to. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll just I'll just give you guys one. I think the closest thing in terms of American sports to to European football is college football. And if you look at the elite of the elite of anything, if you look at, for example, college football, when they recruit the best players from high school. They purposefully in the first year, they have, if you read about all the all the best coaches, they purposely have a training regime ready for the first years because they've been the stars of the show in high school. They've been easily the best players to break them. They absolutely grind them to a halt in which so they can test their mentality, they can test their resolve, and they can test how they deal with actual adversity. Some players make it, some players don't. And it's the same thing with anything in, in any industry. If you go to train for the for the Navy SEALs, they break, they can play, try and see which person will survive in terms of the actual training and, and which person won't. And you can relate that to the football industry. If you're playing for a high level football club, you're going to have the highest amount of attention. It's going to be very reactionary in which if you have a bad run of games, they're going to criticize you. And I'm sorry. Richarlison doesn't play for a club with a lot of expectations. He doesn't. It's not Bayern Munich. It's not Man United where Harry Maguire, for every every time he steps on the pitch, he gets booed. No, one minute, Stefan. Stefan, one minute, one minute. No, no, that's not true. The Spurs fans demand a certain level. 
from their strikers, their key players. And if they're not doing it, they, they, they're, they're under pressure. Be but we, we did they, we, 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 we listen, we booed Emerson Royale, we booed Dyer, we booed Cess, we every every look at look at Man United, their fans, the way they are with their players at the moment. Van it's Zee, awful. It's, it's it's every, every, half half your Arsenal fan base are shitting on Kai Habits right now. So yeah, every, I hate every, him. Every, more yeah, than that, half. Yeah, that's, that, that's because us fans, no matter what club, don't you think every club puts their players under pressure? And rightly so. I pay 90 quid. I've got every mm. right to put my players up. Drop the prices, I won't complain. Yeah, but, yeah, but, still, but, 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 still, but still, my point is is that, yes, your, your fans do put him under pressure, but the media doesn't put him as much under pressure. At Bayern Munich... Social media, though. They social media. Wait, wait, wait. If, if Bayern Munich, if Harry Kane doesn't score for three goals at Bayern Munich, you know the media is going to be on him. And if they lose games, the media is going to be on him. If Richarlison doesn't score a few goals, a, a, a few games for Spurs... Yeah, fans are going to be annoyed. Fans will be, but the media aren't going to be like, okay, Spurs cannot win anything, or it's not. It's not the same type of reaction. Yeah, yeah the, the bigger clubs outward. have got bigger pressure. But to say that he's not under pressure at Spurs, I don't think is true. No, he's not. He's not as under pressure as if he would, as if if he was playing for an even for a Man United or for or for a Bar Munich. Or, or yeah, what, wouldn't you say that? Wouldn't you say? Still. Wouldn't you say that different players handle different levels of pressure then and 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 that's why that's why harry kane has gone to buy him because they know at the highest level he can cope i to be honest harry kane if you look at his performances in the biggest of moments he hasn't coped very well so Bayern munich are just hoping because of the He's fact top that he scorer is, in north london derby our biggest game of the season yeah i don't know what, yes I don't for an arsenal know. team that has been crap in the last five years the worst where's the soul? Where's years, the soul? oh salty salty Oh, yeah, like, Harry Kane! This this, 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 this record that you say, North London derby, European is... Cup final, European Cup final, England. Did he score his penalty? Yes or no? The ball hasn't landed yet. Yeah, exactly. I forgot about no, no, that one. No, did he score oh, the, the Euro the... in the Euro final? <laughs> oh, the Euro final. Sorry, I was thinking about the World Cup. My fault. Where, where, where Rashford and yet. Sancho missed? Did, 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 did Harry Kane in that big moment? Did he score? Yes, he did. So I don't get what you're saying. This didn't Saka miss as well. Yeah, he missed. Yeah, yeah. he was oh, twenty. No, I'm just saying because yeah, yeah. Rashford and Sancho were tw were twenty and twenty uh, were like twenty two when 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 Saka missed the penalty at the age of that twenty. Was, yeah. Kane was on loan to yeah. Leighton Orient, I, I think. Oh, oh wait, you want to talk? Oh wait, oh wait! But when Harry Kane when Harry Kane's a kid in the Carabao Cup final against Chelsea in Poch's first season, you want to hold that against him when he's still, a kid? Though, tell yeah? me, still, I'm gonna no, ask no, no, you no, again, no, no. and Levels. you never answer me. You have never if, answered if me directly. allowed to be a kid and to get away with it. Harry Kane was allowed to okay, be a kid against Chelsea. In that final. Wait, wait, wait! We're, we're going away from the topic, but you've never <laughs> answered me. Just the final thing before we go back. We're on a topic. You've never answered me directly. Tell me one big game where Harry Kane has taken over and won you the game. You cannot tell me it's one big game. game. I'm not talking about some Premier League game against Man City, which in the end you finished fourth or eighth or whatever. That's big for Tottenham. One. That's the level of our ambition. Yeah, but, or a yeah, but final. Stefan, that's the best we can do. That's the best Tottenham can do. We're, we're not equipped to do better than that. That so is the level we're at. Can't blame one player. Mate, I've admitted Spurs are a top four club at best. Listen, it's a different conversation. If we're getting to Levy, uh, it's going to go nuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just going to go nuts. <laughs> this I mean... is a different subject. So let's go to the, since it's international week, right? Uh, before we preview the games, let's preview ultimately the ultimate Arsenal Spurs 11. And also give our current um, 11. There may be some surprises. So according to 90minute.com, and they go with an attack, a 4-2-2-2 two, 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 combined Arsenal Spurs. We'll start with this. This might be an easy one or it might have some controversy. Goalkeeper, Pat Jennings, played for both clubs, Arsenal and Tottenham. Honorable mention, David Seaman. Um, does everybody agree? We'll start with we'll start with Stell. So you want me to pick one? Um, well, no, it was Pat Jennings they chose, but honorable mention was Seaman. Um, and then you know anybody else could add maybe Loris. Someone can add Czech. 
Yeah, so, Mike, what are we doing? We're picking the best no. goalie of both Jens, clubs ever. Jens Lehmann. Yeah. Jens Lehmann. Lehmann. Yeah. Yeah. Ottoman Lehmann. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would I would pick Pat Jennings over Seaman. Okay. I'd pick Pat Jennings over Seaman. Although I have to say, I have to say Seaman was an outstanding goalie for Arsenal, I have to say. Seaman, how many titles? Yeah, that was that was gonna be that was gonna be my argument. It has to be Seaman. How many how many titles? How, how, how many, many, how many titles? You won with did... George Graham and you also won with Wenger. Yeah, how many titles? Yeah, but that's the team. And he, the was, team, and he, was, the team and, and he was a key piece, especially under George yeah, Graham. How many titles? The best goalkeeper, not how many titles you've won. That doesn't make you the best goalkeeper because you've won that the title. True. That is true. Okay, I mean, that is true. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, if that's it, it, all depends on your personal goalposts, right? I mean, I would say David Seaman just because we saw him when we saw him win multiple yeah, titles with Arsenal. Of the year. In 1973, player of the year in 76, which is hard for a keeper to do, to win player of the year. And he's done it with both clubs. So that gives an added incentive. He's played with both clubs. Um, still respected um, by both clubs. Whereas, well, we'll mention the other guy's name. Where, <laughs> Benedict Arnold. Um, uh, so Campbell. But... Uh, but uh, <laughs> But Jennings, um, what a player! What a player! Um, <laughs> I uh, Jennings, okay, and then uh, currently, uh, still, um, I guess he still plays with the club between Loris, Lucario, Raya, and Ramsdale. Currently, currently, your ultimate eleven. Who would be your 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 keeper? This is so easy. But okay. Right now. Yeah. Still don't. Well, don't be a Ram, Ram, <laughs> Ram, Ram, Ramsdale bottled the league when it mattered. So oh boy, I, I here we go. Question, I have to question his mentality. I the have carry, to the carrier was that's that, that, last year. Stuff. There are 10, you play, to go back to your point, point, to go back your point earlier. You, there are you 10 played players the team. in front of them. You played you played the team that got relegated Southampton at your ground, and he made a howler that began the spiral. Towards second, Spiral so was just, already no, in motion. Who would you have? Who would you have in your eleven right now? Ramsey no, no, hold on, or hold on. Wait, wait, hear my answer. Hear my answer. Hear my no, answer. no, no, don't, 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 don't. I bet you, right right Raya. I bet you, Raya. I, I would pick Hugo Lloris because he's won World Cups, and he's been an unbelievable goalkeeper. If Ramsdale in five years' time keeps up <laughs> what he's doing now, then maybe we'll be saying Ramsdale. But Ramsdale hasn't played long enough Ramsdale, to compare to, to Hugo. The PFA the team of the year, played Stel. five games for Spurs. Huh? Ramsdale got into the PFA team of the year, Stel. That's one year. Yeah, but Hugo Lloris got into the Hugo Lloris got into the world team of the world team of the year in his pomp. Okay. So, so I'm, so I'm going to say Hugo Lloris. Not, not because I'm not of his. Impressed. No, no, not because of his you... crap performances for his club the last two to three years. No, because he did well internationally. What an argument. What an argument. Yeah, no, he Hugo Lloris was great for Spurs years ago. But he's just... Yes, he's, someone else take over. Answer to Hugo. Answer yeah. Hugo. Someone else talk. Answer to Hugo. Yes. Hugo DJ was not back. crap every yes. single game, either. He's we'll a come back to four or five games. We'll go to Kate. Do you agree uh, all-time Pat Jennings or Seaman or Peter Cech? No, I think Pat Jennings is the right answer. And I do think Seaman should get the honourable mention because he was a sensational keeper and an all-round nice bloke. My uh, husband actually bought a car off him um, many moons ago. Um, so, yeah, top guy. But, yeah, for me, Pat Jennings, absolute ledge. Currently? Currently, Lewis. Lewis. And you can put Ramsdale in the same bracket as Larice when he's been around for five minutes. I don't know. Larice was exceptional for us for years and years and years. Ramsdale has shown no consistency yet. He's only just come onto the scene. It's absolutely ludicrous to even put them in the same bracket as one another. Okay. We'll go to Fran. Mm. Uh. <laughs> well, first of all, we're always going to lose because your chat is so biased towards the Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore, Ignore the chat. Ignore the chat. We got, we got a lot of... um, no, oh, turn I... on the chat. That's what you do. You turn on the chat. 
<laughs> no, I'm not telling yeah, you guys that. I love you, chat. Um, well, Rams, uh, it's, it's hard because I was just chatting to my partner and he was saying, like, does international form, is it just, like, based on Arsenal Spurs performances? or Because, as you say, if international form's coming in, then it's got to be Lloris. I, so, I agree on that that point, basically. And Ramsdale, at the moment, is having a few stinkers. Um, <laughs> so, Lloris for kind of consistency and proven can do it game after game after game. Okay. Can I, Mari, oh, okay. can I quickly ask the Arsenal fans on the show a quick question, right? Yeah. Who, who would you rather see playing the next kind of five games just to see where you're at? Would you, in fact, no, no, don't David get that. Raya. Raya, in fact, Raya or Ramsdale? Raya. That's my question. Raya. Raya or Ramsdale? Raya. I really want to see Raya. We need I to see Raya. Really we'll think, see Raya. Really we'll see Raya against PSG. You just answered that question. <laughs> I, I no, 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 our, no, 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 um, I, you, you you don't think so, TJ? If if Ramsdale makes a mistake again, this isn't as convincing. I honestly think Arteta is gonna this is gonna sub him in because I'm reading they're leaking reports now, and this tells me that they're thinking of when they're leaking reports that Raya is seriously impressing in training. And I think who is it? One of the most reliable Arsenal guys. I think Sammy Mogbo from the Mail. That Arsenal are seriously thinking of changing Ramsdale for 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 Raya in in the next few games because of his training performances. That tells me that Arteta is, you know, Ramsdale I'm, really needs to help his game. And if he doesn't, I'm, he's, I he's, agree. He's, he's well, bench. that's why we brought him in, right, Stefan? Yeah, that's yeah. why we brought him in. I don't think so. So Ramsdale getting caught off of his line, um, again is is. Not great, but he hasn't necessarily put in a howler. I mean, he he did have some key saves for us in that United game, yes. and in that um and in that Fulham game. So let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater yet. Is there potential for Raya to come in and and take his spot? Of course, that's why we brought him in. Okay, this is a trial. Your choice. All right. Uh, do you agree with? Sorry, I wanted to keep bringing on. Sorry, I didn't mean to keep waffling on that. I I went with David Seaman because he won stuff. So. Okay, and we and current, and current keeper. Uh, I mean, if you have, if you put in, if you have to take international form into consideration with this, which I think we all are, it has to be Larice. I mean, he's uh, right. Ramsdale won't get a sniff with England, um. So unless they're playing like some some like like Gibraltar or something like that he doesn't get a, a step <laughs> so it doesn't really matter <laughs> no, but guys can, can, can i can, amari can i just ask you, when you're saying modern era what does that mean like last today. 10 years last 15 years yeah i'm talking about like today because like, larice because if you take the last three years of larice he's been awful so okay. i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, he's playing, playing now and, but and, 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 and wait and, 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 and Wait, and how is it fair to compare someone that's 37 to a goalie that's 25? Like, if we're talking, if we're talking modern era, we should we should take into account the last 15 okay. years. Okay, because... well, compare compare mm -hmm. Ramsdale at his age against Lloris at his age, and there's still no comparison. Lloris no. is Lloris... miles above. Larice, Larice at his age now was at Nice. Leon. So okay, so there's no comparison there. He was still at Nice. He moved to Lyon at I think 25, 26. Yeah, and then after two years, he moved to Spurs. So big up to Kyle. Big up seven month yeah. member. Okay. Big Belly. up Kyle. Next. Well, I had the pleasure of meeting Pat Jennings many occasions. Spoken to him. What a gentleman and what a great goalkeeper. He had hands like jugs. He would snatch the ball with one hand. He was the ultimate goalie. And one thing he really did, which I've mentioned before, he used to draw a line in the middle of the goal so he knew where he was. Because in those days, you could do it. Right? But now you can't get away with that. But he was just a fabulous goalkeeper. Communication, focus, shot stopper, 
high, low, commanded his area, fabulous goalkeeper. No one can come near him in my book. I think he is the greatest goalie in my book in England, in maybe worldwide. I, I, I'll put him that high. That's how fantastic he was. And I'm not being biased because I've seen him play throughout the 60s, late 60s. We won the FA Cup against Chelsea. I was there as a four and a half year old kid, saw him. And he, he stuck, stuck in my memory because of the way he used to catch the ball, even at that age. Right. So Pat Jennings all the way for me, 100 percent. And in the modern era, it's hot. You see, because if you take international, you'd say Loris, yeah. But Ramsdale's been pretty good for Arsenal. He's made a few errors here and there. But what I think he lacks that Loris has got more than him is focus. Because although although Loris does make howlers now and then, I think his focus throughout his career at Spurs has been pretty top notch. It's just the last couple of years he's sort of fallen off the wagon and he's made some really bad errors that have stood out. So I, I would actually vote Loris 100%. And he's been in the World Cup twice and he's won it once. So you've got to give it to him. Uh, yeah. Special shout out to Gordon yeah. Banks and Peter Shelton. No, uh, oh my God, I, I, yes. I would, just, yeah, I would just like to ask because I am i don't go that far right. Did, did Pat Jennings start for England or, or he didn't? He was Irish, Irish, wasn't he? Northern Irish. Oh, Irish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bad, then. Ma Mari, did you say Peter Shelton? <laughs> <laughs> Shelton. Oh, Shelton. Shelton. Yeah, he... Shelton. Shelton, yeah. You know what? That's that's just as bad. Is who's who's the who's the American that said they called Wick and Wanderers? Why come wanderers? Why come wanderers? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 give us a break. Hey, hey, come on. Give him a break. Give him a break. <laughs> I, I, I've never called them Wycombe Wanderers, by the way. I always called them Wycombe. Come on. I played, uh, I played uh, enough. I played enough FIFA growing up. All right. Quick. <laughs> Burn. Um, yeah. Uh, quickly. Do you agree or do you have somebody else? Legendary. I, I, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to flip-flop on this. I agree. Uh, after hearing that he had one player of the year as a goalie, that for me is more. And even though I think Seaman had a great career from, I, you know, I didn't watch the uh, George Graham years, but I, I'd heard he was a key piece because the George Graham year of, uh, of Arsenal was based, they were kind of like the Atletico Madrid from, from what I read and from, from what I watched. So he, he, he was a key piece. Um, but... I will never forget the goal he conceded against Brazil. And I don't think his, his international career was, I would say, as, uh, as good as his, uh, as his club career. So I would, I, I, I would put Pat Jennings there. I would. We're going to start backward. And we'll start with you, Stefan. Backline. A backline. 90.com has Lee Dixon at right back. So Campbell, trader yeah. at center back, Tony Adams at center back, and Gareth Bale at left back. At left back. <laughs> uh, uh, I wouldn't have Lee Dixon. I disagree with this. Uh, I think Lauren is one of the most highly successful, under underappreciated players. I would say of the Premier League and from Arsenal fans. I thought Lauren was. If you speak to any of the of the Arsenal former players, when they speak about Lauren, uh, especially Lundberg, they'll tell you how, how good he was. And every time I watched him, Lauren, you know, he was a defensive midfielder that was bought and he was put into the into the right box and he was sensational. I, I remember when I when I first started watching Arsenal, I, I loved Lauren. So, you know, for me, I think Lauren was better than, than Lee Dixon. I just think Lee Dixon played longer for Arsenal. So maybe that's why. Um, and and you know maybe that's what they've put him at center back Campbell and Adams. I mean, you really can't argue with that there. Um, yeah, the they they were they were both amazing. 
Uh, at left back, I'm surprised because when Bale first came to Spurs, I remember that was his. He didn't play particularly well at left back, and that's why they they moved him more going forward. So I can't believe they put Bale at left back. I mean, when you have a Ashley Cole, who for me is probably the greatest left back in the Premier League era, in my opinion. Um, but maybe because Bale was so good uh, later, but he was good. As a winger, he wasn't good as a left back, so I would switch Bale there and put Ashley. I was, I was a little surprised they had him at left back. I mean, he, he did play at left back. He did start out on left back, but yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, but he his his success at Spurs wasn't at left back. His his success at Spurs yeah. was was as a winger. So that that's why. I, oh yeah, more of a winger. Yeah, nah, I would I would agree. Yeah, with and you. and and I mean, you cannot not have Ashley Cole. Man. Like if you speak to any players, like Cristiano Ronaldo has said that the most difficult opponent that he's ever faced was him. So, you know, sure. if, for me, that's a, that's a big endorsement. So I, I would, I, even though I dislike Ashley Cole, he was, he was an amazing player. All right. And quickly today's back line, ultimate 11. Preview to next week, ultimate 11. Oh, you're back. Ultimate 11 in terms of from the start. Right? No. Yeah. Um, oh. I'm gonna be. I told you I'm terrible with these. That's why I I don't play fantasy, man. I I'm biased. I'm left back Zinchenko, 100. Uh, center back easily Saliba, one of them. You guys know my opinion of Romero. I don't rate him. I just I I think he's a he he's a he's a liability and he's he's a complete liability. You know, still still now suddenly after a few so years, him, but last year it was he lifted awesome. the World Cup. He lifted the World Cup, man. This. Go okay. quick, stuff and go, go, go. The yeah, other half. Okay, okay yeah. G Gabri I would put, I would put Gabrielle, and then right back. That's the easiest one. Ben Gabriel White. over Romero. You oh, told you. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll go to Fred. Oh, um, right. So past back line, um, I, I'm going to just listen to you guys because I've only been watching football like four or five years and I don't want to talk on something that I don't know anything about and then sound like an idiot. Um, so I'm going to learn about our great players of the past um, rather than put my foot in it. Um, but today, it's more just kind of like, would I include any of your defenders? In the <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> what we've got our four, is it how do you play <laughs> when we've got our four? They're so good. So if we've got um Zinni, Galit, Galiba, Gabriel, and Saliba, <laughs> and then Ben White right back. Like I'm not switching that. I think that's just such a good like back four pairing. So you'd have to persuade me to switch one of them out, really. Okay. Um, so, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. No, 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 no. It's good. No, no, no. No, I, I appreciate your honesty because there are plenty of people that know the history and still come out here and put their foot in their mouth. So appreciate that. Go, <laughs> go ahead. Um, someone just put exactly what I was going to say. Right back would be Carl Walker for me. Phenomenal. Even now, I'd take him back at Spurs in a heartbeat. Um, I agree with Campbell and Adams. Um, left back. I'm sure Gary Mabbott played left back, didn't he, Ellie? Was he left back? Yeah, I'd have Gary Mabbott over over uh, Ashley Cole all day long. Absolute ledge. Um, currently, Romero has got to be in there. How anyone can put Ben White in that lineup? Oh my God, yeah, Saliba's like played what five games or something, and he's out for like six months. I don't know. Um, no, that's, that's you know, he's he's overstating the there. fact just Absolutely. a little bit. Don't. Yeah. Um, you go is in there. You go um, is in there. Over is in <laughs> You go. All day long. Yeah, yeah all day long. Um, you watch, he'd be one of the best players ever in the Premier League. You wait and see. Oh, my. Stel, this is what I mean, Stel. This is what I mean. I don't know what Stel. he's saying, Stel. This is what I mean. Stel. 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 No, Stel. 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 Stel is out here catching mad Stel. strays, Stel. and I love it. Stel. Do you not? Do you not, mate? The you best don't... player ever. He's played really? four games. 
No, 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 no. I didn't say he, he is the best player in the Premier League. I said he will be one of the best players in the Premier League. He will oh, be. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I, I said don't, ever. I don't have to trust I him. If, you, if you've watched him, he's, he's off the charts and he's a child, really. He's a child. I love for other clubs, even Arsenal fans, oh, they're like, yo, God. that's your doji. Yeah. He's a good yeah. No, I, I really like a doji. But I'm not having him over Zinchenko. I'm sorry, Zinchenko. Well, that's right. I'm not asking your permission, my love. I'm just telling you who I did. Can you go for it? Um, I'm not sure who I'd have the other two. I need to think. You came to me a bit quick. I haven't decided who I'd have. So can I come back to that? My other centre back and my uh, on the other side. Can I come back to that? Do I need to think. Okay. Uh, Ali, you're next. Right. So I don't agree with that, right? I, I agree with Kate. Carl Walker makes Lee Dixon look like a little baby. <laughs> First of all, he's faster. He's a better footballer. And he's he's placed for Man City who have just won the treble. Come on. And for Spurs, he's fabulous with Danny Rose on the other side. So yeah. I, I, will say Danny... I will say this. It's the reason why... Pep wanted Walker because he was good. He was great That's at Spurs. Right. That's, That's why. Right. So for people say, oh, well, he was good at Man City. <laughs> but there's a reason why Man City wanted Kyle Walker. But go go ahead, Ellie. But I, I do agree with Stefan over Ashley Cole. Fabulous footballer, fabulous defender, could do everything. Track back, defend like a Trojan, was exciting to watch, bombing down the wing. Added flavour to the attack as well. Brilliant footballer. Brilliant footballer. So I had to, I have to have Ashley Cole as my left back, not Gareth Bale, uh, for obvious reasons, because he wasn't a left back, even though he started his career there. But in defence, I would argue that Ledley King was one of the greatest defenders. Yes, Ellen. Ever. Yes. Ever. <laughs> So I'm, not putting, I'm not putting yeah. uh, Joel Campbell in. I'm putting Ledley yes. in front of him. Yes. Club Get rid of Joel. Was better than Tony Adams with one knee. <laughs> and <What>? John Terry. <laughs> right. But I have to have Tony Adams just because he wasn't the best, best footballer, but he was a really good reader of the game and he was a fantastic mm. leader. And you have yeah. to have a leader in defence. And he was a proper, proper leader. So I'd have to keep him there as well. Yeah. And in the current side, I agree with Kate. You dodgy, you dodgy. What a fabulous player. I'm so excited by this boy. He makes Sinchenko look like a little baby as well. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, he's, he's a fabulous footballer. Oh, did you see what he did at Burnley? Where he retrieved the ball. He ran about 30 yards, retrieved it <clears> from the, the touchline had the audacity to curve back in, pass it to Madison, and Ma Madison scored. Brilliant. Most most players would have given that up, but he didn't. And he's got an engine. He's got intelligence. He's just got to learn a little bit more on the defensive side. But going forward, he's fabulous. But I think he will improve in years to come. And I've got very good faith in him like Kate has. And then centre-back, I would have Saliba. I think yeah, he's I, fabulous. I think he's fabulous. He's he really reads the game so well, and he's very athletic. Um, he's he's like a submarine. He seeks out danger, you know. Da -da -da -da. And Romero is the same, although he has, you know, he has got a hot head. But this season, he's calmed down. I know it's only four games in, but there's a positive sign that he's working on that. You know, and he's already a World Cup winner at, what is he, 24, 25? You mm. know, so... 25. And Messi's just called him the best defender in the world, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm finished. Out. All right. We're up to uh, TJ. Um, your ultimate back line. I'm going to do Ashley Cole instead of Bale. Um, the rest of that I'll take. The rest, the rest of what you have there is I'll take. Yeah, guys, like can, can I just can I just add in mind? I, I agree. I agree about Walker. 
I, I would change my. I, mind. I, yeah, yeah. Walk, Walker. Like in terms of entire career, are we taking all of that into account? Not just his first. Yeah. No, even, even as a pure defender, if you look at yeah. it, he is better than Laurel. Yeah. He's yeah. And Lee Dixon, he is better. Yeah. Yeah, but that's that that'll be that'll be what I that'll be what I go with. And then current current form, and this is gonna piss a lot of people off, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Because Zinchenko is not a true left back. So you gotta go you Joji. Because he's not he's not a true left back. He's not. He <laughs> inverts into the midfield. He's not a defender. He's he's said several times that he is not a defender. He plays he played- midfield for Ukraine exactly. and just scored against England. Exactly. So it makes him even more unique. And it's a much oh, okay. Unique. All right. All right. Don't, you're just being a little shameless now, Stefan. I'll, I, no, I'll just, disagree with you on it's that. Just, it's just, it's just, it shocks me. This player. They're not going to, they're not going to like, they're not going to want to hear the rest of it, though. Uh, Gabrielle, Saliba, Ben yeah. White. Yeah. Take it. Woo! Fucking madness. I like Ben White. <laughs> I like no, to no, do I, like I, I, he's I, I, it's my, it's my he's, back four. I don't care. He's <laughs> can, 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 can someone, can someone from the Spurs fans explain to me why Ben White gets so much stick? He's, he's a, such a good right. Right. incredible right back. Incredible. If he, right back. If, he, if, if he, if he didn't look like he was he's from Jordan good. Shore, if, if he was it. uglier, I'm sure he scored he more get. goals than Richarlison last season. No, no, I've scored more goals than Richardson last season. Let's be fair. I'm, t- I'm telling you, the main reason why Ben White gets a lot of stick yeah. is because he looks like a guy from from Jordy Shore. That's yeah, why. that's exactly <laughs> the reason why he gets. If he was ugly, people would say, "What a like, defender!" What or if, a- he was, if he was yeah. Portuguese, <laughs> yeah, he was looking. <laughs> no, why? Looking either. Sorry, I think he's just box standard looking. And I think he's a box standard player as well. How is he a box standard? But you have Emerson Royale and Pedro Cora right back. Yeah, Pedro Cora is right. Yeah, but you've got got Emerson, Poro, and then just above them is Ben White. There ain't a lot of difference. You might think there is, but there's not. Poro is not nowhere nowhere close. Poro going forward or Poro playing defense? It's like it's... yeah, Poro Poro playing defense is almost as bad as Trent playing defense. So that's yeah. Wait and see when we come to your place, mate. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Highlight, highlight, highlight no, that. Clip highlight this. Clip this. Disabled team. Disabled this team. One hundred percent. One hundred percent correct. Disabled team. One hundred percent correct. Go ahead. Sorry. So the people yeah, are calling I... out for uh, Mr. Box Office. By the way. Uh, <laughs> Oh God, no! We'll be here till one o'clock. We would need an extra Arsenal. Oh, no. Fair, it's a many. Oh, bring days. Jez on, Jez, Jez, Arsenal, the history and more. He's in the chat. Okay, I will yeah, put Billy, for Jez right, and, and Mr. Right, Box. Right. Only two more people. Alex, come on, and Jez, if you're on there, on. I will post the link. Only those two, come on. Um, Stop. Stop. Your back line. Is everybody I need to hear this. So I disagree. I only got one more hour and then I got to go. Oh, okay. I, 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 I can't wait for this one still, guys. So, I can't wait for this one. It's like after when right, they right back. You had to go. So, <laughs> yeah, Ben White bottle. The, the, old, the, old, the old lot, 100% Cole Walker right back. Um, Ashley Cole's a no-brainer. He's the only left back I've ever seen in Cristiano Ronaldo's heyday, shut him down. He's the only left back up to shut down Ronaldo, man. And Ronaldo was unreal when he was young. Um, Centre backs, <laughs> I have to put Sol Campbell. I hate him. But no, the guy, listen, the guy was phenomenal. No. Centre back. He, he, did, he did the invincible season. He did the double. He was brilliant as a first player. And then, um, he he scored in the Champions League final as well, man. He stepped up like he was a, a brilliant centre back. Um, yeah. But listen, I, I I just love footballers, true footballers, right? And for me, and it's just my opinion, you can all disagree. I have not seen a centre back like Vertonghen in a long, long, long time. Oh, I, that's a good, I think Vertonghen was absolute top draw. I, honestly, 
he deserved he's he's he deserved to win silver when he got nothing at Spurs like most of our players. So that's my old guard. The new lot. I think you Arsenal fans have lost your minds, man. I, I'm going to tell you straight. Uh, at right back, you can have whoever you want. Whichever, whoever's whoever's right back at Arsenal, just put them there because they're better than... Yeah, it's Ben White. Right? It's Ben White. Thank you. Have Ben White. I'm not, I'm not going right. <laughs> to argue. I don't rate Chicken Royale. I think Porro's good going forward. I don't rate him as a defender. Um, yeah. So you can have Ben White. Centre-backs, 100% Saliba and Romero. They're, the, they're my two. I, I the, the hate on Romero, I've never understood. Right, left back. You Arsenal fans are deluded, right? I'm going to tell you now, right? Mm -hmm. At left back, mm -hmm. how you lot do not rate Kieran Tini beggars belief. He's not. He's not, on, he's not on. He's not. He's not on. He was out on loan, so I didn't. Con I didn't consider him. Oh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, I would have put him above you, Doji. I just <laughs> he's still, he, listen, Doji. Doji's good. Now, but let's see where he goes. I can't believe Zinchenko plays ahead of Kieran Tierney, right? I'm going to say Agreed. this is Spurs fan. I would snap your hand off to have Kieran Tierney at Tottenham. I think he's a fantastic player. Going okay. forward, defending, he's got leadership qualities. Agreed. He's definitely going to be a future captain somewhere, and he scores goals. How Arteta has shot on Kieran Tierney is a disgrace to your football club. I'm putting Kieran Tierney as my left back. I think he's wicked. Okay. And I'm a Spurs fan. I never ever big up you. Oh, that, that just that, that just shows you that just shows you our level. Our, our yes, third yes. left back on loan is starting for the for, for the ultimate level. He, he's, he's better than so Dinchenko. No, he's not. Way no, better. Not. In the yes, system man. that we play, I mean, that's my view. I think he's in... wicked. We got we got and a poor and house. And Romero and Romero Mari shits on that Gabriel. Gabriel's an absolute fraud as well. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no, he's not. No. Oh, I gotta stop you there. He's not a fraud. He was he was away. 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 Take Saliba away. Take Saliba away. Man. Gabriel's average. <laughs> Take Saliba away. Yeah. All right, we got a poor house. Yeah. We got a poor house. We got we got. It's an honor to have Jeff on on the show. We got a uh, box office and we got Adrian. Uh, to go quickly, because I want to be done in 30 to 35 minutes, I'm going to go Not back happening. to the keepers. Yeah, no. I'm going to go back to the <laughs> keepers. Do you agree with the all-time Spurs Arsenal um, Pat Jennings, and they put honorable mentions Seaman. Do you agree Pat Jennings, who played for both clubs, and then current today goalkeeper? Well, goalkeeper. in my Those opinion... Adrian. Pat Jennings, Bill Brown, and Ted Bitch Ditchburn were better than David Seaman, who I rate as a class goalkeeper. But I agree, as a Spurs fan, I agree with the Arsenal fans, Ashley Cole would be my left back every day. But I would have Ledley King as a centre back. The other side, not so sure. Right back, mm, it's up for debate. Walker, I would, would go with Walker. I'm not sure a left centre back alongside Lady King. I don't know if you see Richard Goff play the Scottish player. He was so calm. He was so good. On the, you know what I mean? But I don't know if you guys have seen him. This is the thing you see. Absolutely. I've probably seen some players you haven't seen. Um, so yeah, I, you know, definitely. Yeah, I could go with Jennings in goal. I mean, the saves he made. I've never seen a goalkeeper make so many saves with his legs. Right. Uh, mm. So I'd go with Jennings in goal then. Okay, although uh, it's hard to, ch you know, between Ditchburn and Brown as well. It's very hard. We were blessed with good goalkeepers in history, you know. But uh, definitely Ledley King is one of the centre backs. Definitely. You can argue over the yeah. other one. Right, right back. Well, it's the modern game, is it? I mean, like, and the game wasn't as fast as it was back in the day. So mm. I'll go with Walker. So if there's a good choice for an Arsenal centre back. No problem with that. Well, I don't know where you've got. Where have you got? Are you in the midfield yet or not? No, not, not the midfield oh, yeah. yet. All right. Well, that's going to uh, be hard. Yes. Uh, goalkeeper. <clears throat> Do you agree with um, 90.com, minute.com, or you have someone else, an ultimate Spurs Arsenal goalkeeper? Um. Yeah, it's, it's a tough one, isn't it? I mean, when when – we were very privileged. And may I say, first of all, it's very nice to meet all you new people. Uh, a lot of you I've never met before. And uh, thank you for inviting me on. Um, yeah. I mean, 
Pat Jennings, icon, absolute legendary, legendary goalkeeper. Uh, we were very lucky, privileged to have him at Arsenal. Um, and he, he was a stalwart of the club. I was very lucky to have met him a few times um, when, you know, I, I lived right opposite Highbury Stadium and I used to see a lot of the players uh, coming in and out of the ground. And he was, he was a true gentleman. And one of the only goalkeepers who amazed me, never wore gloves. Oh, wow. he, had, he had hands like bloody shovels, that man. And uh, I think he's still a club ambassador at Tottenham, yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 And played- Jennings was good with his hands, mate, because like he used to play Gaelic football. Yeah. I, I, I've heard that. I've heard that. Um, and, you know, he was an amazing, amazing goalkeeper. No question about that. But we also have to respect that the fact, as a young kid myself, when I first started watching Arsenal in 1968, Bob Wilson, an amazing goalkeeper, um, played in the winning team of our first ever European trophy. Not something we can actually at Arsenal talk too much about. We haven't actually done that well in Europe, but it is what it is. But um, I have to go down the road of um, one of my most iconic goalkeepers. This is going to surprise you, right? This is really going to surprise you. Jens Lehmann. Yeah, he Lehmann's was. shout. He was, he, was, he was another player that was very... If you speak about the Invincibles era, nobody talks about Lauren or Jens Lehmann. And they were yeah. both I mean, great he, players. He, Lauren was good, man. Lauren was, good. Lauren was so good. Goal. In a Premier League season, he can... yeah, we, but we're talking about. I mean, we're talking about best players. It's not necessarily about what they won. I mean, like <laughs> Jennings, right? He, he played in. He proved himself because he played in poor Spurs sides, right? Was getting ovations at Anfield for going up there and saving two penalties and things like that. When like Spurs were doing nothing. All right, they did win things with Jennings, but when they did nothing, he proved it. I mean, a lot of these other goalkeepers and other players, they were in better teams than Spurs. You know, they didn't... I mean, like, Seaman was behind what? A great defence, wasn't he? And don't get me yeah. wrong, I think Seaman was a class goalkeeper. A class goalkeeper. I mean, in my local, everyone was cheering Seaman, Seaman, during our World Cup and European campaigns. That's Spurs fans for you, cheering, because it's not partisan now. It's, it's like saluting your national side and getting behind them. You know, so that 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 was the difference. But Jennings was better than Seaman, easily. Let's yeah. go to box office. Let's go to box office. Your ultimate. Um, this will be good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was actually um, just relaxing myself. Actually, just what's that? Myself preparing for myself for my video, on Mr. Box Office TV, and then I was listening to the gift that keeps on giving Topman fans, talking to me about our uh, um, the top 11s. The top 11s. Let's talk about the top 11s right now, yeah? Easy. D- goalkeeper, easy. Pat Jennings every single time, yeah? Now, let's talk about the left-back. Honestly, the gift that keeps on giving, telling me that Ndoji should be in our top 11s. You have a laugh. No. He's only been in five minutes. Exactly. No, 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 five no, 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 minutes. No, 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 today. We'll talk about the past. The no, top 11s. Our top 11s is so easy. But I mean, this guy, yeah, he's good. He's good. He's been good. But top, you know, top 11s, you have a laugh. I've actually no, got him all day, every single day. 11. Actually, you're top 11. Yeah. Ashy so Lev- Ashy yeah, Cole, we're doing pass. We haven't had, 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 had a good left back in a long time, man. So what are you talking Lord about? Else. What are you Alex, talking about? Alex, Alex, I, 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 I can see people that. putting their hands in their ears. Just let him talk. Just let him talk. Just let him talk. Just let him talk. No, They mean, they mean... Come Alex, on now. Old-time 11. Alex, they mean old-time 11. All-time 11. Well, we could talk about the all-time 11. Wait, Come on now. Ta- that, they're putting Ashley all Cole in their all-time 11. 11. He's going he's gonna to do what he wants. All-time 11. All-time 11. <laughs> We're putting all Doji in our all-time 11. No, 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 Ashley Cole at left back, Walker yeah. at right back. Yeah, so that's it. Oh, Sol Campbell. On, oh, Sol Campbell. Back. One of mine would be Ledley King. I'm undecided yeah. on the other one. 
I'm putting Lenny King. There's only there's only there's only one player I'm putting. Um, there's only one player I'm putting in. I'll, I'll tell you what, yeah. Sol Cam was close because he was my best player at Tottenham Hotspur all day long. I don't care what any Tottenham fans is to me because that's that's me as a childhood. And that's he was it, phenomenal. Yeah? Us, Lenny mate. King. Lenny King and uh, Ab- uh, Tony Adams, yeah. yeah. I agree with you about um okay. uh, agree with you about um Walker. That's it, and that's all I'm saying. That's it. Guys, that's the truth coming out of my okay, mouth. And that's it. The, Back okay. to you, Mario. I'm done. Well, I'm, I'm okay. If you don't mate. know, get to know. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's move on to midfield, Mari, mate. Midfield, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Just Thank you. Midfield. Sorry. Just um, before we move on. <laughs> Again, mate. Sorry. Do you agree with this back this uh, back line? No. No. <laughs> what's your what's your back line? Ultimate Spurs Tottenham combined uh back line. Um I'd have to go with without a doubt. Um I I'm mean, no, I'm I, yeah, I could look I could go back in history, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go with Do Ashley it. Cole. Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole. Right. I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to go without a doubt, Sol Campbell. Sol Campbell. Quality, quality, quality. Tony Adams and oh. an, an amazing. I, I mean, God, I could go back here some with some players. Um, I'm going to go with a great player, um, Sammy Nelson. Okay. Jez, Jez, Sammy Nelson over Carl Walker. Um, well, mate, that's that. Yeah, I mean, that's it. guys. I, I've got another that's option for right tough. back. It's a tough. I've got another- isn't it? Yeah. It's a tough one. I could go back with so many great right backs. Samson? Um, not even um, Yeah, okay, mate. I, I, I will concede that. Kyle Walker. I'll tell you why I'm going to concede that. Fair play. Respect to you. Is when I watched him the other night, Ukraine, England, he looked absolute class. Um, and I'm so happy, in fairness to him, that he scored his first England goal. <laughs> yeah, but that's only one game, mate. Yes. Know, we only talk about, we only talk about one game. If one game impresses you, you know, we can pick all players that play. Oh, look, mate. Look, 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 and all that. Put, I mean, it bed, no. put it to bed. Put it to bed. At the end of the day, I'm saying I've conceded the fact mm. that one of the greatest Arsenal fullbacks ever in history, Sammy Nelson, right, I've conceded it to a Tottenham player, right, Carl Walker. And I'm all I'm saying, I'm happy to see him score his first ever England goal in 77 Jax. goals. I mean, yeah. is, that, is that a fucking problem? I don't think so. No, <laughs> no guys, I've got another right-back option who I've heard was really good. I haven't watched it, but I've heard he was a great right-back. <laughs> Kenny Sampson. Was he really good? He was he left-back. Was the left-back. He was a left-back. Oh, he was a left-back? We got to move into the midfield, no, Mari. Otherwise, we're going to be here until two in the morning. And he wasn't the right back. It's a four, two, two, two. That's what they're using. 90, 90minute.com. They use a four, two, two, two. So two seven midfielders. They chose Patrick Vieira and Gaza. Does anybody disagree with this? Patrick no. Vieira and Gaza. No. I'm biased. I, I'm, I'm going to Fabregas for me. Sorry, mate. Fabregas. Dennis Bergkamp all day. Ooh. Oh, he yeah. comes up. But he comes up. Man, Dennis Bergkamp was my favourite Arsenal player. He, was he, he more attacking? Was he just had him as an attacking man. Over the home, over the ring. Bergkamp was my favourite. Fabregas? I'm not sure. Where, 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 where are you, you playing him in midfield, Hold on. Yeah? They, They've not got Hoddle in. Oh yeah, Hado. Yeah, yeah, Are we doing holding mids, like defensive mids, then centre mids, then oh, no? Or? What ninetymid.com did was a four-two-two-two. Uh, you can't have a four-two-two-two's formation. Uh, I, I, I know. Three, three, four-two-two, four-four-two, four-two. I mean, you can't have four. Two. No one plays that's, four two, two, two. That's what they went with. And I agree with you. I would have gone with a four-three-three, but that's that's what they chose, and so they chose. You, uh, you're not. We are never going to get past midfield for Spurs and Arsenal. They're great players in midfield with two. Glenn Hard. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, 
to it. Ideally, it. you need four. Ideally, you need to go traditionally go four four two. It allows you a lot of latitude, and then you can pick a couple of strikers, can't you? Or a so number I'll, ten. I'll, I'll shred it up. We'll do a four four uh, a four three three. So you're three in the middle. And I'll start with Stell. You're three in the middle. He's gonna oh say, my God. He's gonna say Dembele yep, now. Oh, watch this. Musa Dembele. Three in the middle. <laughs> Janola. It's gotta be it's, no no no, it's gotta be Gaza Hoddle Burkamp. Yeah. My exact no free era? My exact free. Hoddle yeah. Gaza Burkamp for oh, me. Yeah, it's a difficult one. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, okay, oh. um, the different oh, types of players, the different types of players. Who's like, I'm being defend? biased. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be biased to this first man. I'm going Hoddle Gazzard, um, Bergkamp. Yeah, but still, who's gonna defend in the midfield? When it's your go, you tell us. When it's your go, you tell us. Okay, no, no, yeah. defending, just attack, just attack, just attack, just attack. Just attack. Just attack. Just attack. <laughs> DJ, your 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 midfield. Um, are we are we talking holding or attacking? Or does doesn't it matter. matter. Just pick doesn't three. Matter. Okay. Four, three, three. Okay. 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 that you want. The three you want. Uh, Vieira, Bergkamp, and in and in uh, the interest of good relations, I'll put Gas in there. Otherwise, I would have gone Sess. It's good pick. Okay. Fran. Um. So I'm gonna go with whatever Jez says. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, well, no, and I'll probably I'll probably have to go go back go with him too. I'll throw you a curveball. Give me today's midfield. Right now, who's on form? Um party would have to be in uh, De Declan Rice or Party. Um, both. You can have both. Pi Ooh. Um Yep, you can you have both. Mass is on form. And Odegaard, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Respect. The modern day influence. Nice I love that. I love that. I love the bias. I love yeah. it. Yes. I love it. Stay. One hundred percent. Stay biased. Oh, I'm going to be using it if we lose next week. You guys are going to be like, "What was your eleven? <laughs> I'm gonna, Fran. I'm gonna have to take down my YouTube channel if we lose next week. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, DJ. I, I think I'll you'll lose. I mean, midfield. Uh, for now, for current, yeah. Oh, no, no, um, all time. Hey, you can give me both, just give both, but gotta be quick. <laughs> um, wait a minute, I just gave mine my, my midfield three. I thought, yeah, yeah, no, Vieira, 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 Gascoin, Bird Camp. Okay, um, Stefan, uh. I'm gonna go with uh, at DM. It, this one's easy. Patrick Vieira yeah. at the number eight position. I'm gonna go with Luka Modric. People forget about him at Spurs. Oh yeah, That's a good then, very good. And then and, very good. And, and, and then and then at the number ten position, my favorite. I'm biased. My favorite ever Arsenal player since I started watching them, apart from Henri, Fabregas. I love Fabregas. He was insane. Okay, Kate. Um, I would go Vieira, Hoddle, Davizinola in my midfield. And my current one would be Madison, Basuma. <laughs> and. Don't do it. Don't you dare do Don't. it. Don't. <laughs> um, Solomon. Solomon. Don't. <laughs> Third, oh, okay. Okay, all right, thank you. All right. You're, all right. you're a better woman than I. Yeah. <laughs> She's smart. She knows. AJ? She's not biased. Your ultimate midfield. Me. Adrian. Adrian. Me. I gave it, didn't I? Same as Stella. Okay. Oh, you did? Okay. Guys, guys are huddled Yeah. Okay, Ali. Okay. Right, I'm going old school, right? Because Hoddle has to be in there because he's the greatest English footballer that has ever lived. If anybody doesn't put Hoddle in their midfield, they're insane. <laughs> insane, I'm telling you. <laughs> right. Then I'm going to go Ozzy Ardiles because what a magician. Oh, wow. What a magician. <laughs> no one cool. could get the ball off him. Nobody could, he, he was even better than Modric. 
And that's saying something. <sighs> that is saying okay. something. He won the World Cup, remember? Right, and also he was a fabulous player for yep. Spurs. With right, camps? and then I would I would actually go Bergkamp as well. I wouldn't even yep. put. Uh, I'd I'd play Bergkamp more forward, not in midfield. Everybody loves Bergkamp, huh? Everybody yeah. class, yeah. that's why he's, he's absolute class. Yeah, I, I, mean, like I always I, 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 I always thought he was he was a bit him, overrated. I put him I in always, my team, but more what? What? Legend. But Netherlands at Arsenal. Oh yeah, he's a legend. No, he was a great player, but I just thought Henri. I thought Henri made him look better than he was. What? Oh no, my God! No, 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 no. my This guy is a player. Burkamp is legend. I mean, watching but with 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 Netherlands, I'm like, oh, this he's that goal he scored against Leicester. Burkamp, what a goal! Fabulous. The goal he scored, mate, for uh, Holland against Argentina when Frank de Boer yep. passed that cross oh, field. My heart. I yep. mean, like, that was a hodlesque as well, that goal he scored, right? I mean, like, Bergkamp, he had more to, he had, there was so much more to Bergkamp than there was Henri. Henri was a fantastic player, an absolutely awesome player, but he didn't have to, he didn't have to game in the skill set that Bergkamp had. Oof. Mate, that goal Burkamp scored against Newcastle when he spun the yeah. ball one way and went the other. I've never seen a player do that. I know. That. I've never seen a, any Listen, footballer do that. I know. Must... Only Kenny Dalgleish. Guys, Kenny that's Dalgleish first time he's got stopped in Arsenal, right? Yeah, <laughs> I know. You know. And Adrian, <laughs> Kenny Dalgleish scored Burkamp style goals before Burkamp was scoring them. Mm. Kenny Dalgleish, mm. back to goal. Never. He was back fabulous. To... And, he was and anyway, Murray, he was my a winner. Three. My he front three. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Alex, go oh. ahead. And then we got Jazz. Alex, you're, you're what, what am I supposed to be? Do? What am I supposed to do? It's all time 11 first, and then it's the original. No, you're afterwards. midfield yeah. free. We don't want a long yes. midfield free. Midfield free, yeah? Yeah. Well, midfield yeah. free is easy. David Jinla, all day long, all day long. Gareth Bill. Next one, and then I'll put I'll put be kind to Arsenal fans. It's not going to be Odegaard because Odegaard is a load of he's a reject as far as I'm concerned. Um, <laughs> so um, so it's it's going to be it's going to be oh, Vieira all day long. Oh my, you know God. what I mean? Vieira well, wait, all day Bale, long. Wait, wait, and that's Bale it. In, and that's in, to in all Tottenham Red? fans that said I'm an Arsenal fan because as as far as I'm concerned, two Tottenham fa- two, two Tottenham it, players it, that are top players by the way. And that's Alex, it. Alex, <laughs> why are you putting Bale in centre mid? That's not his position. Well, uh, I've got to put him in somewhere, don't I? Well, put him on the left wing. Put, actually, right, no, right, actually, right, I'll change it. I change it. I change it. I change it. I put Modric because he's won the Champions League, yeah. <laughs> and I put um, and, and, and he's he's the best player in midfield, and he and he and he's and he's and he's, the, he's the best player ever, yeah. And he's still playing. Look at look at him right now, yeah. And I'll put David Ginola because David Ginola was the best midfield I ever seen, and he he lightened up our team when we we're a relegation team, and that's it. You know what I mean? And that's all I'm saying. That's it, really. And then you've got Vieira as well. He made, he, made he made your team. He made your team. He made he made Arsenal's team the legends that they are that they that they're not now right now at the moment because they ain't won nothing since um, Arteta only got FA Cup and that's it. Back to you, Mario. I'm done. It's only it's only an FA Cup. <laughs> <laughs> to pieces. Yes, you got to follow that, Alex. Yes. Alex, what one one? Yeah, it's only an FA <laughs> Cup for, for, for Spurs fans. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. There's your midfield three. My midfield, this is going to surprise you, right? Dennis Bergkamp, without a doubt, best best midfielder I've ever seen play football in the Premier League, without question. Um, Gascoigne, and a certain player, that many of you may never have seen play. I was lucky to see Alan yeah. Mullery, Tottenham. Absolute class. Class. Yeah, Mullery. Class. Bloody hell. He made, yeah, was in the 66 World Cup team um, and he was in the 70 World Cup team. I was lucky to watch it on TV as a little kid in 1970. That man yeah. was an absolute legend, your club. And uh, yeah, brilliant player. That's that's can nice. I, can I can I say there's one player that that I thought didn't get any praise at all, and he I, I thought in under Wenger I thought he was a top 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 player, 
And that was Edu. I thought Edu was a really, really good player under Arsene Wenger. Just, yeah, know, he wasn't still he he wasn't a starter. It was always Patrick Vieira and Silva. Yeah, he was off the bench. Silver. Yeah, but, but then what, it was it was Vieira they... and it was Vieira and Petit, and then it became Gilberto and Edu. Vier... And Gilberto, I, I thought yeah. Edu. Gilberto Silva is another player that nobody in the Premier League, League era talk about. Gilberto Silva he was, was, a good player. He was a good an player. amazing defensive midfielder. He is yeah, what Fabinho but... was at Liverpool yeah, times yeah. two or three. He was insane. Yeah, we, we, tend to, we tend to pick, don't we, like uh, the most glamorous like midfielders, attack-minded midfielders. You know, if I had yeah. to pick a defensive midfielder from Arsenal, it would be Vieira every day of the week. Vieira, yeah. But, um, but, but, like, we're, we're sort of going Gascoigne, and Hoddle, Modric. You know what I mean? No, no uh, one said Moussa Dembele, uh, who technically is probably one of the best players I've ever seen. Who I thought was the best Arsenal player I've ever seen play football. Yeah. But yeah. Because, because we're going for the skill set, aren't we? We're not we're not sort of considering like a team that's got to be set up defensively. We're just going for like everyone has to be yeah. like a skillful, attacking, brilliant footballer, which is okay for this. This is fine for this, though, isn't it? Mm. You know? So, Adrian, <laughs> you have front three since you were ready. You have front three. Sorry, didn't you? Your front three, your attack, your front oh, three. Oh, my front three. That's front easy for me. Kane, Klinsman, Henri. Two Spurs players? Kane, Klinsman, and Henri. And Henri, yeah. Kate. Kate, uh, exactly. Mine's exactly the same as Adrian. Henri, Kane, and Klinsman all day long. Okay. TJ, your front three. Mm. I don't want to say Klinsman. <laughs> he played like how many years did he play in the league, guys? At Spurs, was it like two? Played what, three. Two years? Didn't he play like two years? Three years. Three. Klinsman. Yeah. Klinsman had two stints at Spurs. Can I change? He had one. He had one, and then he didn't. He had two more when he came back. He had, or did he, he he had, had two stints at Spurs. And you're gonna he went to and Milan and then he came back. Yeah, yeah he scored came four back. goals. I'm gonna save this from relegation against Wimbledon away. Can I change? I'm gonna, yeah, good. I'm gonna put Sheringham in for Kingsman. Can I do that? Yeah, that's that's yeah. That, I think that would be, yeah, that's yeah. I wouldn't. That's more real. Sure. I'm not new, am I, Adrian? Okay, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's a matter of opinion. <laughs> of course. Uh, TJ wants to go next. Kane, Henri, Corzola. What? Corzola? Nancy Corzola. Wow. I love him as a player. I love watching. I love watching. I love watching. I love watching him play. Come to the main event. It's my three. I don't care. You guys can destroy it. I don't care. It's fine. Go ahead. Destroy the box office. Can I just Go say ahead, something? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just shocked. And, I'm, and shocked. And I'm, I'm like, really shocked about something. <laughs> Can I just say something? Just say something. I'm yeah. shocked the Arsenal fans are going for the loser, um, Kane, that can't get a trophy, by the way. Um, yeah, so the fact is, let's, let's, let's get yeah, the winners in, in, in order. Let, the, let's get the winners in order. Yeah, I'm not right? Trophy, let's put the winners in order. Okay, Klinsman, because he's saved off for relegation. Yeah, twice. Yeah, well, no, getting in twice, yeah. I put That's Henry there because he's class, absolute class. And Literally. Gareth Bell, because he's the Greatest best player the that's League, played at Tottenham for, for decades, yeah? And that's it. And won Champions League, where, where Ken can't get even a Carabao Cup. Most top that's on the golf so that's, course, that's a winning combination. A winning combination, Come on, right? Style. Showing you what quality is, and that's it. Back to you, Mario. I'm done. Girl, I've never had before in my life. All right. Um, Fran... <laughs> Your uh, ultimate uh, attack or current? <laughs> okay, ultimate. I'm not qualified, so again, whatever. Just <laughs> sorry. If, <laughs> if, if <laughs> Kane was still, if Kane was still at Spurs, I'm for Frank. Was, Kane is still at Spurs now. If if he was, will he be in your attack? Because I clearly you're not going to. 
I think, uh, yes, I really, really think he's amazing. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, rivalry aside, he's so good, especially because he, ha he has a, like the full game. He's not just like a target man. He links up. He does all the things that you want, like a modern number 10 or striker to do. Um, he, he's so good. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd have Kane in there. And Henri would have to be in there. And I don't really know about the third one. So, sorry. <laughs> it's really, it's I, I, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, pass on that. But modern, I'm having Son and um, Eddie and Ketia. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, I'm having Son and Saka and Martinelli. That would be wild. Oh, I don't know. Spurs fan, right? They, they don't want him at the, uh, on the wing. <laughs> it, it, it takes Fred and uh, Arsenal supporter to say son. You, you, you see that some Spurs fans? Right? Like, there's some Will Stewart, I don't know if you know, would give you a hug right now. He would he yeah. would kiss you. Yeah, he would. Son, son, son can't do anything wrong in, in Will Stewart's side. He hasn't had a bad game since 2012, son. <laughs> Yeah. You will yeah. put you put you put yeah. some you put the song in the original one right now because Jay Seuss is always injury prone. Etetio's only just started because he's just, he's just an apprentice and that's well, wait, it. Alex, so Alex. I, 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 I would I would I would put song in there, yeah. And maybe what? you put you, you put Kane if he was at Tottenham, yes, yeah, by default because he ain't won no trophies. Yes, he's a fantastic player. Yes, my, ultimately made in the school. Oh but, yeah. Yeah, but, but then three, it's, that's it. Based, simple as that. My, my three were based on not the fact that I don't think Saka's a fantastic player or Martinelli causes you loads of trouble, which would be interested in the forthcoming uh, London derby. My, my three are based on the fact of like longevity. Kane's done it over X amount of years. Henri did it over X amount of years. And Klinsman did it over X amount of years. That was like we're talking about original. Original. Wait, 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 um, yeah, but because... if it's today, I I I I tend to look at it like this. You got yeah, you put Kane there, yeah, because he's he's the ultimate goal scorer, yes. yeah, all day long. Kane I'll put is a Bayern Munich, and then you, and then, well, yeah, but if he's at Tottenham, if he's at Tottenham, there when Greaves has scored more than Kane, no, but original, no, original. I, I, I'm taking Jimmy Greaves 100 over Kane because he's actually Kane. won things. He's won things too. Okay, and Greaves has won things as well. Yeah. Yes, no, I, would put Greaves in, I would I would put Greaves in front of Kane any day because Absolutely. he was the greatest British striker ever. You know, <laughs> he scored the most goals. He was fabulous. Have you seen the goals that he scored? Absolutely That's brilliant. Actually, I thought he was doing them. Ellie, yeah. I watched him play. You're actually wrong I there. Him play as well. But He's the back end of him, I didn't see well, him play no. early years, but by the time I was five, six, seven, I watched him. And I, all right, I was a kid, but I still watched him after. You know, I, I'm not, I'm a connoisseur of football. I don't just watch today's football. I watch players from past years as well. But Greaves, you've got to put in front of Kane, one hundred percent. Because first of all, he scored more goals, and second, he was playing with hard football, level footballs on dirt pitches. Yeah? And he scored brilliant goals. And then I would put Omri. Strong from Scotland. Omri. Oh. What kind of he argument said, is that? He said kind of, because, 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 because he hasn't watched Jimmy Greaves suddenly because oh he's God. from... Yeah, Big up, just, Scott. Wow. I, he has then, some balls. Um, right that's upset just a lot of people. Argument. That's just, yeah, that's just that's a lot I of put people. put Sheridan in as well, like Kate did. I put Sheridan mm. in. No. He, he was the most fabulous, oh, wow. intelligent footballer you could ever find. He was brilliant. And he'd score yeah. goals from everywhere with yeah, his head tapping, uh... long shots. And he was a good team player as well. He, he was like Harry Kane as well, but he didn't score as many. But I would put him ahead of Kane just for his pure football. I think he was an even better footballer than Kane. And that's saying <sighs> something. Wow, OK. Let's go to Jazz and then we'll go to Stel to end it off. Um, 
who is your I ultimate? I haven't been. I have. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot you. Well, we'll let Jess go first, and then we will go with um, Stefan, and then we'll go to. Um, yeah, I'm, so. yeah. I'm just going to say, I, I, sorry, I, not to disrespect the lady with the hat. Um, Jimmy Greaves wasn't <laughs> the highest English goal scorer. It was actually um, in English football. It was actually a guy called Cliff Baston, the Arsenal, and he was beaten uh, by Ian Wright. Yeah, but the fact remains, uh, my front three. I'm going to take the piss here. <laughs> I would include I would include Cliff Baston in my top three because he actually is the only Arsenal footballer to score five goals against Tottenham in 1937. But I'm not going to do that. Obviously, guys. Obviously. Didn't Ian Wright make Cliff Baston? Uh, Cliff Baston never heard of him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ian look, Wright make Cliff Baston's record. Sorry. Ian Wright beat Cliff the Bastion's record. Not in one game he didn't, mate. Well, not in a game, but I'm talking about goal scoring. Yeah, fuck me, I know that. Don't talk to me about <laughs> Arsenal history, mate. I've written a fucking book about it. You're not great. Don't get excited. Don't fight. You know what I mean? You got Bastion. Okay. And who's the other two? Uh, uh, who, who beat Ian Wright's record? Uh, maybe uh, Thierry Henry. Mm. Thank you for telling me that. Thanks very much. I didn't yeah. tell you that. You just mentioned that because you wanted to make a point because you had the ump. Right. It's okay. Carry on. Yeah, crack on. <laughs> um, you know, when you know about as much about arts as I do, come out of a pie with me. Oh, I don't think right. you know, oh, no reasonable about it. This is what I like. This is what I like. I'm yeah. liking this jazz is, is chip, man. I like it, Bob. I like it, Bob. <laughs> I like to think I know he's more about football, but I don't profess to be an expert. I'm just a fan. I mean, obviously, the guy in the corner is an expert. Yeah, fine. Just zip for the minute. Let me finish what I'm going to say. All right? Fair enough. Mm. Okay. Chill. Um, yeah. yeah. Without a doubt, without a doubt <laughs> Jimmy Reeves has got to be an absolute legend player. Absolute legend player. Um, and my other. I can't believe Harry Kane. Harry yeah. Kane. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'd love, I would have loved him at Arsenal. Sadly, he's gone. And You had him, yeah. but we let him go. <laughs> no, he's one of he our own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, is. Yeah. He is one of our own. <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal were never going to pay the money for him because, unfortunately, Arsenal... Spurs, as we are, you know, we got Sol Campbell, Zilch, we put, we bought um, Pat Jennings, Icon, Sol Campbell, Icon, but um, I've got to put in the mix there, Thierry Henry, greatest striker in my book I've ever seen for Arsenal, um, absolute legend of the Premier League, we can't deny that, we can't deny that. Um, so that's my that's my lot, because uh, but yeah, Jimmy Greaves, I mean, what a player! What one one Spurs the nineteen sixty one first division championship the year I was born. So no, he never, no, he never, he never he came in nineteen sixty. He came the following year. That's how much oh, you know yeah. about football. He came the following year. <laughs> he didn't play in a dub side. He came in '62. Fucking hell, you don't know a lot. He came the year I was born. I remember that. Oh, well, <laughs> still took a right fall there. You muppet. Shots fired. Shots fired. Mate, oh, mate Shots tell me about it. Adrian's got it's his baby in front of it. You don't know fuck all about Arsenal Football Club compared to me. I'm not saying I'm an expert in Tottenham. All right? I'm not an expert in Tottenham. But I know my football club. No, you just mug yourself off, though. You made yourself look a right idiot. Am I? I'm not yeah. a top player. Yeah. What you did, didn't you? Top Please top play. play. Can I? 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 Can I?
I'm a, I'm a Tottenham. I'm not a Tottenham expert. I'd admit that. <laughs> hands up. Hands up. But if you want to talk to me about Arsenal, come on my channel and I will talk to you. Well, I, I don't admit to being an Arsenal expert. I know I know a bit about Arsenal. I know about the players I like. That's about it. But it's all I want to know. Why, yeah. why do I want to know about Arsenal's history? I'm a Spurs fan, for Christ's sake. I, I, you know, I, I, mean? I, I don't know about you know, Tottenham. But I won't make, you know, unfounded, stupid statements that I don't know what I'm talking about like you have. You I know made what I mean? a statement I thought I was correct. I thought <laughs> I was right. I've been proved wrong. And I apologise to your better knowledge. All right? I thought that he did that in 61, the year I was born. Fair play. Yeah. You proved me wrong. <laughs> and I apologise. Fair he was play. part of the team that won 2-0 against Leicester in the final in the following year. And part yeah. of the team that won 3-1 against Burnley in the following year in the FA Cup, you know? Yeah. Great. And, and part of the 63 team that won 5-1 five, five against Atletico, Atletico Madrid in the year that followed that. You know what I mean? So, you know. Spurs have won three European trophies. How many have Arsenal won? Hmm? Well, I'll say okay, both of you guys. Adrian, I'm not many Adrians. I'm talking about Adrian. 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 Uh, we're gonna go to Stefan. Your your ultimate uh, front three. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fair here. I'm gonna include a a Spurs player because you know everybody says I'm biased and yeah I, I you I, are I, biased though. I am I am I am I, I, I hate Spurs. <laughs> There's nothing I, wrong I hate with Spurs being biased. Openly. If you're a Spurs, I I I, I, I discriminate <laughs> against Spurs players openly. I admit it. I hate. It. But I'm gonna include these two strikers because they're winners. Because they score goals and they won things. Their goals led to stuff. They're not losers. Mm -hmm. And the first person will be Jimmy Greaves. Because Jimmy Greaves won a lot of trophies with Spurs. Went there. Was the was the best striker in England at that point. From, from what I read. I haven't watched him. I haven't. You know, I wasn't born then. You know, I wish I was if I was a Spurs fan. Because that's the last time you guys won a league title. But that's 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 another story. But and then the second striker because he is the best player that I've ever watched in the Premier League era since I started watching Arsenal, and that is Henri. Henri was just he yeah. was just he was just Henri. And the reason why a lot of people Irish. like myself <laughs> like a lot of current players when you ask them about the Premier League, a lot of current young players say, "Who's your favorite player?" They they, they don't say Teddy Sheringham or Jermaine Defoe. They say Thierry Henry. So mm -hmm. that's 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 I think the right player. The the, the yeah. litmus test for me is as to why he was he was insane. And he was, he was just ridiculous. And uh, honorable friends. mentions are gonna be biased. I'm gonna say honorable mention, a guy who is in my opinion underrated for his time at Arsenal because of the the chaos that was around the club. If you Look at his goal scoring record and his stats. They're better than Gareth Bale. They're better than Son. They're better than any of the wingers. And that's Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez was an insane player. An extremely, absolutely insane. An underrated, an extremely Good underrated player. player compared to the numbers that he put up, in my opinion. And then the other honorable mention, I have to put him, even though I think he's a loser, Harry Kane, because he's just, he's a great player. How the and fuck is he a loser? Because he won no won trophies, himself. Bob. He's won nothing. Teams, teams, here we go. Teams, here we go again. My teams, favorite debate. Teams, teams win trophies. Guys, guys, teams guys, win guys. Trophies. Does does winning a trophy make a good player? Come on. Yes. No, because no, what, no, does no, David, no, David, no, David no, say look no, like no, a good player? No, he, he's no, a good player. No, there, are, there are plenty no, of players. When, when Arsenal, when Arsenal, Europe, when Arsenal won the you, double, World he said teams, Arsenal won the trophy. Not but have won trophies. Yes, this is what I have to put up with every single time my fans, by the way. after have to argue with you This is what I've got to do. This is what I've got to suffer with. I've got to suffer with this. All Winning the time, you have to feel sorry for me. You, you've got to feel sorry for Mr. Box Office. Like, I, I, I talk the real one, yeah. I'm the real you one that talks yeah, about my team. Yeah. And I hear this is feeling sorry for people. This. And I'll go to Stell. I'll use this guy as a perfect example, Mr. Um, Post Office. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of players I'll say they're world class. Winning a trophy 
I think my book makes you a uh, like a it, it takes you from great to elite. To, 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 to. But no, there are some players who transcend that, like, like you use a uh, one. I think this guy's a legend, um, Haji, the Romanian, one of my favorite yeah, players yeah. as a yeah, kid. And, Where did he play, Mari? Where did yeah. he play? Barcelona. Yeah. yeah, and he had to go to Barcelona and he played at uh, Stan. Um, um, I can't pronounce the, the name right now. He won. He won. He won. He won the European Cup with Steaua uh, uh, Bucharest yeah. in, in, in the early nineties. He the went to Barcelona. 80s, 90s, 90s. He, and 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 World Cup just fell in love with the guy. Broke my heart. Yeah. Scored against Argentina. One of the most beautiful goals. And for him, like if he didn't have those opportunities to play and and, and, and win stuff. You know, people will talk about him in a different light. I use him as an example. And for me, you know, people, most of everybody pick Harry Kane here because he's world class. But um, it's just, it's a shame because when I go to the barbershop where there's neutrals, a lot of neutrals and whatsoever, they say the same thing about Harry Kane. Where, 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 where are the trophies? And for them, we're Spurs fans. We understand, okay, Daniel Levy, how they construct the club and whatsoever. But it, it, it's 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 still okay. Why has he him, him himself as a player grabbed the team by the scrub? And exactly. Exactly. and, and Mari, can, I, can I answer this? Can I answer yeah, this? Here, here, here it comes. Here comes his biggest hard. defender. Here it's hard. No, 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 no. The level of fraudulence that I'm hearing here is, is insane. Right? This is why you win nothing. No, 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 no. You just hate him. You just hate him. You're like no, Alex. I don't you hate, hate him. Kane. You're haters. You just I hate, don't hate him. You do. You both hate him. You call him a loser. Harry Kane, right? Harry Kane walks into any club in the world. No, he doesn't. He's, he doesn't yes, walk he into does. Man City. Yes, he does. He doesn't walk into right? Barcelona. Harry he Kane, doesn't. yes, he does. He's better than what they've got up front. He's better than Lewandowski? Lewandowski's on his way out. Let's yeah, Pep will, play, no, Pep will play the two striker. No, no, Pep will play the two striker on top. Wait, let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Let me let me finish my point. Right, Pep Guardiola wanted him. Levy said you ain't going nowhere. He was trapped in the contract. Right, Pep wanted him. So for me, you got to put some context with this. Spurs is the worst club out of the top six, the big six for you to have a chance of playing in a final to win silverware. We get to the least amount of finals out of the top six. So he's already at a club where he's up against it in terms of opportunity to win. Yes, he's been to four finals. For England, he scored his penalty when it mattered. He scored his. Saka and Sancho cost him the trophy, but fuck it. Kane's a loser. He's the, the talisman, club. man. One minute, let me finish. Let me, I never interrupted you. I never interrupted you. He scored his goal. He scored his goal. This is such a bullshit the, argument. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't, don't interrupt. I never interrupted you. Oh, he scored sorry. his goal. Sorry. He scored his goal. In the Carabao Cup final, it was Poch's first season. The team was just dog shit. It's a miracle we got to that final. He was nowhere near being a superstar yet. So for me, he, he you can't expect him to carry the team. Then we get to the then we get to the Carabao Cup final against Man City. We sack Mourinho. We put a 29-year-old fraud who's never coached his life. I've got more coaching badges than Ryan Mason. And we expect Kane to carry the team. The Champions League final, I'll give you that because he should have stood up and said, guys, I'm not 100% fit. Don't play me. But he didn't. He's put himself first and his ego. Fair enough. Whatever. Euros, but, to say, but to call him a loser Euros, is the most fraudulent comment anyone can make. You're a hater. And look, Alex, he hates him as well. Look, look, so, look. So this is the problem at your club. Well, this class is the class no, no, forget the players. club. We're talking about Kane. No, not the club. We're talking about Kane, not the it's club. Not, this it's mentality not, that, that it's Kane not is about like... trophies. You can slap laurel leaves around the heads of players that win things, right? There are plenty of players, hundreds of players for our history that never won anything. That were fucking excellent players. Matt Matt Letizia. You don't. Matt Letizia. Yeah, Matt Letizia. you don't. You don't yeah, listen. Yeah. You, it's like, is it? Does it have to be a prerequisite that you have to win, win a trophy before before mm. you're considered to be a great player? In yes. my opinion, no, no. It's a question of whether you, as an individual here in this in this group, like a player or think that player was excellent or 
you know, he was international class or world class. I hate them terms anyway, like. But but uh, it, it's a question of whether you like them or not, or whether people like them or not, of what they've proved in the history, or what their record is, you know. So um, I remember a, a player you may never heard of, Paul Breitner. I think he played him German player. He played him free. He, he played him free. Uh, European the World Cup. Cup. He lost the, the World Cup with Germany. Yeah, he may have done, but he lost three. He lost three European Cups with three different teams. Right? Does that make him a bad player? He was an excellent fallback. You know, I remember Cabrini at Juventus, who I thought was one of the best left backs I've ever seen in my life. I'm not sure what he won or not. Um, because it's different leagues. And this is it as well. Back in the day, when he was hearing about these players, <laughs> mind you with me, there was no television. Right? So like, I'm looking back at a day and I'm hearing about these players and reading about them, seeing little clips on par films about them and thinking like, mm, you know, these players are supposed to be considered the best players in the world. You know, but what did, you know, did they all win things? Did they all win ha things? Harry, Kane, they Harry Kane's gone to buy him. He's trophies now so you, you, by the end of the season you won't call him a loser that's it yes because he's gone to we won't if he wins and he wins we won't of call of course him, he will because he's, he's at a club he's going to win the German League in the German Cup that goes without saying it's a yeah, it's still going to be it's still going to be more it's still going to be more than what he did at 10 years at Spurs like no, this is what not. you guys don't get he scored this two 300 goals at Spurs what are you talking about yes it's no, probably not. 200 he only scored one goal that mattered. Harry, one Harry that Kane's mattered. status, Harry Kane's status has been built on the fact that he's been in a non-winning Spurs team. He scored How? thirty. Hold on, he scored thirty goals last <laughs> season in a poor seat, and we had a crack team. What did we Cesc Fabregas, your favourite player, with the Arsenal? Team. And he scored they're, 30 they're, league they're goals they're in a crack. What did Cesc Fabregas, your favourite player? That you put in your best eleven winner Arsenal. I said he was in my best eleven, but I never said he was a winner. What did he win? Answer the question. What did he win at Arsenal? I said he won nothing. Loser. No, because By your he, logic. Went, he went no, because then he, he won the World Cup with Spain in the Euros and went to Barcelona and won stuff there. And Kane's gone to Bayern Munich and he's yes. gonna win stuff. And when he wins, Stell. When he wins, then we can say that the heat. So, so your not, favorite Arsenal player ever in your best this. eleven. So your favorite Arsenal player in your best eleven was a loser whilst he was at Arsenal. Is that what I, said, I, said, I, said, I said? I said. I was biased. Yes, Ali. Well, the, the question I ask is like, was Kane a great player before he went to Bayern Munich? Yes, he was. But that doesn't make him a, a winner or, 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 or a great yeah, loser. This is, this is like saying Modric is a loser, Bale's a loser, Carrick's a loser, Berbatov, they're all losers until they left Spurs. That's what yes. we're saying. Yes. Come on, man. They're class players that were at a club that don't win trophies. I'm going to ask you this. Was, what we're saying is respect quality. Uh, I respect Arsenal quality. I, I respect this. Tom Reed, right? To me, yeah. okay, best Arsenal player I've seen in my life, right? And I, and I watched Spurs. I watched the double side play. I was on relation shoulders as a five-year-old kid when we won the double, right? I've seen players through different eras when styles of football were different. The pace was slow. Pitches were different. All made a big difference, like, you know. But I respect good players. I respect Kevin De Bruyne. I think he's fucking brilliant, right? You know, I, I respect... Harlan, what I've seen of him, I think this kid could be something really special. I don't put him in a cane bracket yet, even though he scored amount of goals, because I think Kane's all-round game is better than his. But that kid could go kick on and be the next Messi or Ronaldo. You know, yeah. he might not. He, he might not. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's let let's let Jess shout himself out real quick. We're we're gonna we're gonna get out of here quick. But Jess, thank you so much for coming on, my brother. Thank you for coming Appreciate on, you. Jess. Um, any score uh, for the uh, for the Arsenal Everton game prediction? Nice, nice score. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna go one one. Um, oh, Jess. Oh, that's one negative. one. We have we, we have never such a there. crap record there, guys. We, we never yeah. win there. Last, you haven't won the last five times there, there have you? Last five visits, you haven't won one. Seven. Seven. We haven't won there for six years. Um, yeah, and, 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 and I, yeah. let's get it right. It's Sean Dyche. We know what he's going to do. He's yeah. going to park the bus. He's going to 
get his players physical and, mm. um, you know, kick players about. Arsenal are not a physical team. Let's get it right. Fair respect to you. Um, and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going 1-1. One, one. Uh, it, it's we, we don't play well at Everton. Um, and I, I, I think if Arteta plays his stupid nonsense tactics that he started at the start of the season, this inverted bullshit, then we're in trouble. And, um, you know, I, I, I mean, that game against Man United, we got lucky at the end of the day. I, I mean, there was points and times there, guys, and Fran. And and uh, I don't know the, the other lady here. Um, Kate. Kate, yeah. Okay, um, you know, we ended up with Zinchenko on the bloody right wing. I mean, what's that about? So and how now- do you think how do you think like after that game, no matter what the results, Spurs are under Sheffield United, you then gotta pay PSV midweek. Yeah. You know, yeah. Before you play us. So you got two games where we got a whole week of resting, right? Yeah. So, are you confident about a North London derby? As if Arsenal fan should be, you should be. No, I don't think so. Um, respect to you. Um, uh, let's be honest, Spurs are playing. Jez, sorry to interrupt. Can I just say we won once there in 23 years at the Emirates? Yeah, in 2010, I think was the last time. Eunice we Kapoor header when we 2 0 down and 1 3 2. We've got, a, we've got an awful record at Arsenal. Yeah, you we've won, won, you won in, in the Premier League era, you won yeah. twice. I think we've always gone there with the wrong attitude, personally. But it's another thing. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But let's, let's, let's put it right. Tottenham aren't playing bad football. You've played a lot better football than you were this time last season. Right? Um, and I think the facts, and I'm, I'm, you're going to think this is the stupidest statement you've ever heard in your life, right? You've lost Harry Kane. Which is a great shame for you guys, but I think that's going to improve your attack. That's, that's not a stupid statement, mate. Uh, I've said yeah. that as well, mate. That's not a stupid statement at all. Uh, uh, that's a good statement, to be fair. That's a very good statement. People seem to think they, they bring the Harry Kane issue into it. I don't believe that. I just think like it's just that's a, a very good statement, to be honest. With you, you're no, spot no, on. no, no, no. I just the there's some people who are football. Like it's not. Look, when when we played Shakhtar Donetsk at, at home, Harry Kane scored four goals under the end system, right? So it's not a question of Kane going. It's a question of the fact that, like, the system enables us to press forward. We have pushed more people forward. So in theory, you have more chances of scoring more goals. And yeah. that's what's happened. But right? you also give away more chances. It's not the Kane issue should be... Part to one side. In my, it's only my opinion, but to me, it should be part to one side because the system we've got now means it caters for Emerson scored a goal, like Romero scored a goal, isn't he? You know, exactly. they have three did scored goals, so it just means that the way it is with the inverted fullbacks and the two midfielders pushing forward, that when the when one of the, actually both of the fullbacks don't invert because you doge does what he does he just bombs up and down the left and god may keep doing it because that's very effective right so like so to me like it, that's that's not a question me anyone if you're in front of the goal 5 yards you've got an open goal you have a bang anyone can score a goal but adrian right? yeah, adrian can i just ask you because this is what spurs fans i think are are i think hey, I think they're overly optimistic. Yeah, I, I yeah, and Mari, I got to bounce too, man. I got another. I got another thing I got to head to. I'm gonna say this yeah. is my first time since 1969. No, I lie. 1974. I'm gonna miss not being at a North London derby, and um, I'm gutted because I'm gonna blame the wife because she's copped it all up because we're going on holiday and we're travelling. On that day, and I'm absolutely bloody gutted because. Yes, it's well, my first one. Hope you have a good one, mate. Hope you have a good one, Liz. Oh, 
I'm not looking forward Enjoy to it. it just. I, I don't blame you, mate. I had to, I had to pay. I had to go and go for hell for leather to get the dark tickets for last year. Tell you what, to see Tottenham actually get thrashed. So I understand where you're coming from there. To be honest, no, I've, I've never, I have never missed. That's because that's because you, that's because you went there and booed Harry. Guys, Kane. don't 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 complain. I've never been. Sorry to talk to you, Jess. I've yeah. never yeah. been. Yeah. 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 Thanks for having us. All right. Oh, and Mari, I got Mari, I gotta head out to you, brother. GJ, I'll see you tomorrow night on Lee with uh, when you're on with Lee. And yep. thanks guys for having me on. Um it's been thanks again, Jess. Anytime. I'm yeah. out. All right. And Mari Mari, I got a I got a jet. Thank you again for Thank for you. running shout the tight ship out. again, brother. TJ, shout oh, yeah. yourself out. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. TJ Warren TV. Um tomorrow we have uh Lee Gunner on with uh our regular crew. Um Mr. Mr. Dal, aka Oregon Gooner, and Connor, uh, 7 p.m. UK time. Subscribe to TJ Warren TV. We are 28 subs away from 500. So if you could go over there, smash a sub, and obviously Please. smash a like on this video. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it, Mari. I got a jet. Great right. talking, to everybody. Cheers, man. Up, TJ. Let's take some predictions. I don't think Stone ever gave his top three, uh, a front three, and then we'll go to Fran after Stell uh, to get her predictions, um, uh, weekend predictions. Your front three, Stell. <laughs> yeah. Harry Your front Kane, three. Harry Kane, and Harry Kane. Your front three. <laughs> um, oh, so I've got two. I've got the old lot. Where I went with Greaves, I actually had Baston, and um, I've actually got this. Um, you know Frank McClintock, uh, Arsenal legend. His his grandkids play for me at my club, and he told me about a player called um, Zaguna, uh, John Radford. I've never heard of him. Apparently, he's a legend at Arsenal in the forties or something. So player. he's a very good player. What's him play? Yeah, I, I'm I'm not that old, so I don't know. But um, Rad Radford <laughs> Greaves. Yeah, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I won't think when I said that. But um, in the modern game, <clears throat> you've got to put Kane and Henri just because they've both got the records of goals. Like you want, and then <clears throat> I'm torn between four players: Son, Berbatov, Ian Wright, and Nicholas and Elka. I don't know which one to pick. Uh, but Nicholas, no, Nicholas and Elka. Nicholas and Elka scored. No, he was he one. was insane, but he was only one year at at, at Arsenal. One no, year. two two years at Arsenal. Okay, he won but... two championships. He went to Chelsea. He scored one in three there. He won a golden boot as well. Nicholas Nelk was for no, me. He, he was a great boot. player, but with, like old time eleven. No, yeah. you've left that Klinsman. Yeah, it just wasn't he just wasn't in the Premier League long enough. He weren't there long enough. I mean, yeah, he, yeah okay, uh, listen. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say Kane and Henri, and then you lot can pick the third one because I can't. I agree I can't. with those two. I agree with those two. No, what know. about Bale? Nobody is talking about Bale. I'm really surprised by by by. Well, yeah, because it's just players in. Because of Thierry Henry. No, even 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 in even in Man United, they play Bale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you guys are gonna say I'm biased. I, I, I honestly, I, I enjoyed watching Bale more than Kane. I, I Bale was insane when he was in, in at sports. For, for me, for me, and I'm one of the very few. I would, I wouldn't disagree with you. I love Harry Kane, but for me, Gareth Bale made me cry because he left, he left the club. Because he was, <laughs> yeah, wasn't he? Gareth wasn't he Bale player was, of the year two years in Gareth, a row? Yeah, Gareth Bale was for me was, it was a, it was a. Exhilarating it was it was it was everything for for me for me watching him play. It, it was the time where I fell in love with Spurs. I was still you know my infant years with Spurs. So Bill was for me. Mari, Mari, mate. If I was picking a an only Spurs eleven, which you could do in another another time, I would put Bow at left back only simply because to squeeze him in to make us have a, like, a world-class attacking team. It probably wouldn't be very good defensively, but, I mean, yeah. like, I would squeeze him in. Yeah. You know? But, yeah. but it, I mean, like, Henri, yeah, because we're talking more forward players. You know I mean, I'd put Henri in there with Klinsman and 
and and came to me. But like you know, it's fun. I mean, it's not important. It's not written in stone, is it? I mean, no, people no. have their own favorites. It's just, so. it, yeah, it's it just I was just I was just surprised that because I I really rated Bale. Like I thought he was amazing, I, and I was just surprised at how Spurs fans. I mean, none of you guys even put him in the actual mentions. Like, I honestly think, even as an Arsenal fan, I think he was better than, than Ian Wright. I really couldn't good. put Bale in, at left back in front of Ashley Culver. I no, 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 no. I'm not talking about left back. I'm talking about even even going forward in terms of honorable mentions. Like, I put Sanchez because I think Sanchez, in my opinion, if you read his game goals per game ratio and stuff, I, he was better than, than Ian Wright. I thought he was sensational at, at Arsenal for the time he was there. This is why it's always very controversial. It gets very heated when you're trying to pick a team that's like between two rivals who've had a rival over history over all them years, right, and you want to pick a team between the two. <laughs> no, you know? Adrian, no, one minute. That's because you old boys are a different breed, right? The new school... The, the, the hipsters on YouTube are quite, yeah, this will be friends, which is nothing wrong with that. But the That's old me. school were proper. <laughs> <laughs> listen, there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. I, listen, personally, I love the old school. It was, it was, it was proper rivalry, real rivalry. Nowadays, we're all friends. We marry each other. Back then, you don't marry. You don't marry. <laughs> the old, you don't marry. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It, no one's friends to Mr. Bot's office, man. At the end of the day, you know what I mean. I, I come. I come, and I. I, I That's because you're pieces. deluded. Yeah, you like you're just deluded. I'm not deluded. I'm the truth. Yeah. I'm the truth like master. That That's it. Yeah. You heard what Jez said. He's looking at everyone. Look at all tourists, man. Thinking, what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You like about? that fact? You. You're not like. What are you talking me? about? Honestly, I've never heard such rubbish in my life. Fran, you should feel sorry for Mr. Box Office here. This is what I've got to put up with every single week from these people. No, every single it. week. You know what I mean? You know? Oh, he's Fran, he's you know, know, he's know, he's know, know, know very well as well. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's back to you, Fran. Back to you, Fran. You know what I mean? So back to you, Mo Fran, Mo Fran, and I'm done. No, guys, I just... Alex, it's because you're as well for me. check me like that? <laughs> that's just him, man. man. That's just him. Man, man. Just just man. I'm, just looking, I'm just looking at Ellie. I'm just looking at Ellie. Ellie's just telling wait, me wait, off wait. now. She's telling me off now. <laughs> uh, Did someone see? else speak? You, yeah. you know what box what office? Because he just said his two favorite phrases. So have you seen box office before? So this is not the Me? first time. Yeah. Yeah. No. On Savas' 24-hour stream, I came on for five minutes, and all I said was like. <laughs> Like Mr. Box Office was coming on after me, and I just said, like, if you don't know, get to know, and then like time went <laughs> off, and, and like everyone lost it. Yeah, no, I watch Mr. Box Office. I, I told you guys I've been watching you for ages. Oh man, no, that's uh, you don't that's know, a, get to know. See, see, Box see, Office. see, see, it's going around now. See, I'm not the heel of the top and fan base. You see what I'm saying? See. So I'm not I the ratings you. killer. No, no, I'm not the ratings I, I, killer. I, I, you see I what I'm saying? The ratings killer's you. gone. Well, I'll still keep that name anyway, because it's, it's in my arsenal. Anyway, back to you, Mari. I'm done. We need to end the show, don't we? I love Alex. I love Alex. Alex, you bring it on yourself. You're like, in most podcasts, you're like, you're as welcome as a fart. He's going to as well. You know what I mean? I love it. I love just watching these Spurs guys just, like, go at each other and Alex causing, like, mayhem. I love it. I I love it also, too. Because right now... Kate, Kate's fed up. Thirty minutes. Should we fit for thirty minutes? Like fuck this. Shit. Our team is. <laughs> Alex, yeah, come on in. No, you, you're just going to yeah. be subjected to utter waffle and triumph for the next hour. So I kind of. I, I know. I know. You, I know. You get that from Perchy, by the way. But anyway, moving on. Let's move on. Um, yeah, no, back, no back, back to you, Mo. Yeah, I'm done. When a fan comes on and calls our greatest ever goal scorer a loser, they lose my respect instantly. <laughs> oh, it's I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. An outrageous statement. Yeah. Oh, think about yeah. something like Harry Kane. You wonder how it can. No all I will say is you're very, very welcome. Thank you very much. You know what I mean? There's That's the main no event club. speaking. What you know what I mean? The no professional club. truth and entertainment. Yeah, you're welcome. No you are welcome. Well, Ellie, I, can't you, I can't hear waffles. I can't hear waffles. In the Premier League, we're content creators. <laughs> we're, we're joy that spurs because we give we give so much to give content to. I can't think of another club. That's oh, no. Up. Mari, there is. Right now, there is another club that gives more content. Man United. Chelsea. Ma Man, Man United. Quiet. Man United. I'm sorry, man. Man United wins. I did there. Every week. Is there older? Why are we going to kill? 
Manure United. It's Manure United. It's Manure United. It's Manure United. Let's go to Fran. Your prediction, Everton, um, Arsenal. Sorry, I'm Everton won Arsenal now. I was just saying, Stefan was saying that Man United... Uh, yeah, Man United are more interesting. Like, you guys are quite good now, so it's just a bit boring. Every week, there's some sort of... And when there's nothing, suddenly they leak a little information about who the new potential owner could be. Like, oh, they're going to sell to the Qataris or something. And they're they're new- get the trouble with, you know, domestic violence, too, I would, I would say. It's just... What it's about... Just- anyway, I didn't mean to digress. Um, but go- Everton... Really tough. We haven't won there since I think 2017 18 yeah. season. Um, mm. however, it really depends on the lineup. I can predict it once I see the lineup, which is a bit like not good in itself, really, is it? Because like I should trust whatever lineup the manager puts out, we can still win. But if it's messed about and if Gabrielle's sat on the bench again, then you know, so I'm 80% sure that it will be a good lineup. We'll have our nice back four as long as we have the back four, then I'm happy. Um, so 80% sure we're going to win it, maybe 2-1. Um, but yeah, if there's a madness in the lineup, then come back to me. Yeah. And also, I wanted to say, next Saturday, I'm going to my first ever North London derby. Oh my God, Fran, that's so my, sick. So I know, my first ever actually game that's not pre-season at the Emirates. And it's because oh, wow. someone... I know! I went. That's so sick. I'm just so that excited. Is that is Do you have any... Any advice? Yeah, Any don't advice. Go it. Just enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah. Stay yeah. away from the I've got some advice for you. Put your head in your hands. Put your head in your hands when a commenter goes and Son scores, gives Spurs a 3 0 lead. You know what I mean? Richardson scores a hat trick. <laughs> no, he won't score a hat trick, but we'll get it. Watch Kai Havertz banging the winner so we, get, so we end up in the mud. If Still, Kai Havertz you know, you know gets the winner, I'm going to cry. <laughs> no, I know. you guys. No, no, no. Stell, Stell, Stell is gonna, Stell is gonna create this because he's a Spurs fan. He's gonna talk so much crap about Kai Havertz before the week, and Kai Havertz is gonna score against you guys. That's exactly, you know, it's the Spursiest thing ever. It's gonna happen, Stell. So stop talking Probably. about Kai Havertz because you know he's no, gonna still score. Shit. Even if he scores a hat trick, Stefan, 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 tell your own fans that, Bob, because they're the ones that are moaning about St- um, uh, Kai really, Havertz, Bob. So I, I don't really even know why you're talking about it, Bob. I you know what I mean? I, Again, I you're digging you. a hole for yourself, bruv. I can see that hole digging so big. It's, it's, it's um, unbelievable, bruv, because that's how I much t- time he's been talking myself. on this stream. I'm, 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 I'm only been here five minutes. I made, I made, I made, I made, a, I made myself famous already, bro. You know what I mean? Why did Sorry, bro. That's the you thing I mean? you ask yourself. Why did you say that? Your yes, score. It's not an awful flat. It's not an awful flat, but it's not. He's not. Your position is seven. Prediction. Uh, this is. I'm really. I'm actually more worried about this game than the Spurs game. I'm gonna be honest, um, because we just. We always just. Just we just destroy you. These are excuses. You've spent seven hundred million pounds oh, to win so. the league, and all I'm Ooh. hearing is, "Are we Spurs, never win this?" If you no can't money. change, if you Spurs can't change no the money. past they've, after spending seven hundred no million, these are the gooner excuses that I'm subjected to by frauds like you. Show what some ball and say to me, we're going to go there. We're going to win because we've spent the money to do it. I don't want to hear these excuses, Stel, man. We're, Stel, we've not won we're, there in six years. Uh, they're Stel, shit. They're, Everton are shit. Sean Dice is a bang average answer? manager. Stel, okay. can I answer? Stel, there is <laughs> no, no excuses. No, no. Stop, stop interrupting. I didn't interrupt you. So I will answer you. The reason why we, why I'm... Um, I'm a bit skeptical. Is like Fran said, we have a poor record there. It's Sean Dyche. He's going to play super fit weight. But I do think we'll win. I think he'll be a tight 1-0 win to Arsenal. However, there's a difference between Arsenal fans and Spurs fans. Arsenal fans are realistic. So they say, okay, we, we might win. Spurs fans win three games. Spurs fans win three games and think they have the best team in the league and they're going to win the league. So no, we don't. No, we don't. Who said we're going to win, gonna gonna win the, the league? league? Who said no. that? I'm I'm joking. I'm exaggerating. But like that's the, that's oh, sorry. the reaction. We just agree <laughs> both our fan bases are really unreasonable online. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, definitely. That Arsenal. I would say. Not you I guys. Would say, not you guys. I, yeah, yeah, not you. Right. But I would say, okay. Fran, we're, we're, we're the opposite. We're the opposite. We're Arsenal okay. fans. If if we lose, every player is rubbish. If Spurs fans, if they win. No, and just Kai Havertz. The best left back Only in the Kai league. Havertz. Bissouma Only Kai is Havertz. better than Declan Rice and 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 Partey. Uh, you know, 
so, so it's, it's can both, I say, it's Stefan, statistically, spectrum. statistically this oh, season, Basuma and Madison have outperformed during time midfield. I know you hate hearing these facts and you're going to dismiss the data, He's gonna but they've outperformed the Madison and Declan the Rice. They have. Dominated. It's a hard thing to accept. I get it because you spent a lot of money on them, but they have outperformed them so far. You finished eighth with Basuma last year. What were no, no, I was about last year. I'm t I said this season, this season so far, you Basuma and Madison have outperformed them. They have. They have. Our performance. Okay. 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 By the way, I, I was just writing the receipts. The amount of receipts for um for Stefan, the amount of times he was talking, by the way. You know what I mean? You know? And those receipts will be back to you when we um at least get a draw at that Emirates game, <laughs> oh, by the way. Oh, oh, sorry. You know I what mean? Ooh, you know? Let's go. You know let's what I mean? Let's let's go. Go. You know what I mean, mate? Ourselves. You know? Anyway, back to you, Mario. I've rinsed into pieces already. Bye-bye. I'm done. What a, what a winning mentality for the Spurs Sheffield United versus Spurs. Me? Yeah. Um, I am going for five nil to Spurs. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And I Does think Everton. I think Everton will beat Arsenal one nil as well. And how anyone can say Basuma last year was crap? He was playing under Conte in a terrible system. You look at Basuma Conte's now. He's a terrible coach, right? Conte's a terrible coach. And he's he's a terrible coach. You can't say Conte's a terrible coach. I wouldn't say he is a coach. He's a manager. I don't think he coaches players very well because he didn't improve anyone that we've got. But you look at Basuma now in a system that suits him. And if you put him on the market now, you're looking at 100 million pound plus. Declan Rice, you've got robbed massively. No, he is no. nowhere near no. up to Madison standard. I'm sorry, Declan Rice can't. He's not Madison's there, Declan Rice is there. Yeah, Rice yeah. there. That's why that, that's why Madison went to Spurs and Declan Rice was wanted by Bayern Munich, Man City, and Arsenal. And that's oh, yeah. why Ma everyone else has been crying on Twitter okay. saying, Oh, I wish we'd have got Madison instead of Declan Rice. Uh, no, who, who Declan, says that? Which one says that? Over Twitter, you you okay, you guys great. are so deluded. It's That's hilarious. Kate, Kate, you're I'm making it. You're making your it. Kate, why are you not saying anything about all the god the reject? The reject. Um, the, the the what's going to happen is last year we were going to win the league. We we we've been told you know we we were nearly eleven points clear last season. But oh oh hang on oh no the bottlers are out. Anyone lost an arsehole? Oh it's happened again. Really? A play. Spurs fan is telling me about bottling. You haven't won the league. You are the king of the bottlers. History now. It's in history now. Can we can we talk about this weekend's games? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think, listen, listen. Bill, the thing is, like, fans of all clubs, fans of all clubs, should forget about transfer fees. Price does not determine quality Thank or you. how well a player yeah. is going to do, right? You like a player when you see him, you buy him, you might think he's overpriced. I think Rice was overpriced, but I think it's in certain areas of this mad transfer window, I I think there are certain players that have gone for extortionate price that I think are ridiculous, and others you can get on the cheap. And the maths don't sort of add up. It's just mad out there, right? It's mad. My name right? is I mean, like... We got in Don Belly. We played on 60 mil for him. Quality hasn't proven him. We know he's a quality player. He's got all skill in the book, but he's been shit, right? You could say the same about Celso, 40 mil. Davison Saints is another 40 mil. You could say Richarlison, if he does make 60 mil, that's 200 mil down the pan. You know, 200 mil. I love that, down the I love that comment. Yeah. <laughs> No, Agent, your prediction. Yes. Your prediction. Yes. Yes. United Spurs. Six one Spurs. Come on. Big scores. Wow. Okay. Box office. Your prediction. Um three one Tottenham. Three one yeah. Tottenham. Three one. Okay. All right, and that's it. Simple. And then and by still, the way, by the by the way, I, I don't compare Madison to um, um and Rice, I, I, I compare him to Aldegaard, and Aldegaard is a, it's just a reject as far as I'm concerned. Madison's better all day long, won trophies and knows what where the goal is and know how to create and that's it. And even stats, even though I don't play FIFA, is the best thing that, that thing, um, shows you uh, evidence as well. Which By the way, Stefan, back to you, Mari, I'm done. Evidence? Well, I know don't one know, stat. Get to know. He was the top goal scoring midfielder last year. Mm. He was the top goal scoring midfielder last year. He's score and he was in the PFA now. team of the year. Something that Madison, which you always slam Ramsdale for, got relegated at Leicester. Mm -hmm. 
And again, you see, you're comparing apples with oranges. Madison and Odegaard. What what is the similarity between Madison and Odegaard? There isn't. They're totally different types of players. Oh, they're both they're both number tens. They're both creative midfielders. But it doesn't matter whether they wear the number ten on the shirt. They're both different type styles of players. This is what gets me when people start comparing apples with oranges. They're both good players in their own way, but they're different style footballers. And that's, no, that's not. Adrian, I don't no, think you're getting the, I don't think you're getting the message right now. You don't think you're getting the actual message at the moment. I'm trying to ban the Arsenal fans, by the way. And you're you're just you're just you're just completely trying to you know what I mean? I don't think you're getting the picture right at all. I don't think you're getting the picture at all. Yeah, you know what I mean? Anyway, back to you, Bowie. I'm done. <laughs> oh, no, you're it, it, it's, it's just it's fine. I just I me, me and Stel we always have this fight in the actual uh WhatsApp group, which is every time before a North London derby, it comes out the, the best 11s come out and Lee McQueen's come out of the of the caves. No, but he's a fraud. And wait, 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 wait. let me girl. finish Stel. And no. in the group too, where they say Madison is better than Odegaard, where, where they say Basuma is better than Rice or Partey. And then, when the game, wait, the and then when the game comes, you guys get trounced like you always do at the Emirates, where every single one of these players that you say is really good looks terrible. So why does that always happen? Why do you guys have Basuma, who's now a 100 million pound player in the eyes of Kate, yet you finished yeah. eighth last year? You have Romero, who's one of the best center backs in the league, yet he was shit last year and you finished eighth. You eight have Jack of how many years, bro? You Stephen, had Jacko for Stephen, how many years? He did nothing. Stephen, so don't minute, even talk to me about minute, telling me about the super. Please. Please, bro. Last bruv. season. Last oh my season gosh, this guy is just waffling. My gosh, he was his five minutes of fame. Stephen, my you gosh. Get, where do you get this Stephen. guy from? Um, Where do you get this guy from, Stelios? Bloody hell, man. My Stephen, gosh. Stephen. My Stephen, gosh. Stephen, my Stephen, gosh. Mama Stephen, mia. Stephen, mate. Respect your opinions. <laughs> The Arsenal fans I'm talking to that I know, my best mate or best man at his wedding and all that, like, they're sort of quietly crapping themselves because they're thinking, like, well, sooner or later, Spurs have got a winner again at the Emirates. And they're thinking, like, oh, okay. this, this time, this time it's going to, we, we're going to, we're going to do you. And Why? I think Spurs will win. Why? Huh? You, you, you couldn't, Why? you couldn't, this you is couldn't the same team that were. But twerking for Basuma, by the way, twerking for Basuma. Oh. Our midfield is better than yours. Oh That's what. And most God. games. By, are by the way, field. by the way, by the way, by the way, Stefan, you were twerking for Basuma, yeah, a couple of years ago, yeah, twerking for I him, like yeah. Basuma. And then I all like of a sudden, we, we get him, we get him. It's like, oh, we don't want him, we don't want him. That's Arsenal no, fans all of a sudden, I like, bruv. I like the Arsenal Basuma. fans all of a sudden, yeah. <laughs> they don't really need him anymore. Don't need him anymore, yeah. So you, you'd say that he's not a good player now because he's at Tottenham. Yeah, is that how you do it now? Is that how you do it? Is that how you do it? No, nah, bub, you don't do it like that, bub. You know what I mean? Again, I receipts. Like are, my receipts, like I'm writing for you, bub. Look, look. Not... Here's the receipts. Here's the receipts. Here's the receipts. I've been writing for you, bub. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, bub. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. There you go. That's what's called rinsing people to pieces. Back to you, Rory. I'm done. If you don't know, get to know. It's going to be that. Wow. Stel, quickly, give me your prediction. <laughs> I was, I've, been, I've been ready for like 20 minutes I mean just <laughs> I, I just want to say as well I'm, I'm the same as Fran this is my first ever North London derby I'm going to at the Emirates I got a free ticket from the Spurs Academy they gave me one which I couldn't believe but there you go I'm going with one of the coaches yeah. there so um, that sh it should be interesting um, Spurs Sheffield United I'm going to go I think they're going to stifle us. We're going to struggle to score, but when we do, we will. I'm, I'm the same as Alex. I think three or four one, we will win. We won't. We will. We'll beat. We'll beat Sheffield United. The, the Emirates, though, right? Can I say? See, last season we weren't very good. Yet, until we went down to ten men, we were in that game, and that sending off just fucked us. And then Conte bringing on four defenders conceding the game and just going into collateral damage mode was just a disaster. So I do think we were in that game and, and Arsenal, that was Arsenal's best season last year in about 10 years. So I think we will go there. We'll, I think we're going to give it a go. My only worry with that game is we've not played a top, top, top side yet. Man United are in the mud. They're not a top side. They're in the mud. But, 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 but 
I just don't think defensively we're quite ready yet. Defensively, I don't think we're quite there. So I, no. I don't I don't expect us to beat Arsenal. My hope is we get a draw. If we get a draw, I'll be very, very happy. I'll be very happy that's, with that. That's Our away thing. form's good, Stella, though, isn't it? I mean, like, people are yeah, saying, yeah. like, oh, we've with Spurs, it's always like, we beat Man United. It's because Man United are a poor side of this shit. Not that in the first half they had two good chances to score two goals. Right? I was there at the game, right? And then we clawed our way in the game. They picked up the odd book in. I was saying to the guy next to me, the regular, I'm saying, like, they're rattled now. It's not going their way. And they picked up a couple of bookings. Second half, we just blew them away. There was no two ways. Yeah, no, yeah Adrian, I'm not. So, no, no, then no, afterwards, the words was, oh, yeah, Man United are a poor side. We've beaten them. And then in the press, it was, then in the press, like, it was, oh, yeah, Spurs have had the second easiest start to the Premier League. Adrian, no, do you know what it is? You what, what is it? We can, but I mean, like, are you mad? I'm thinking, hang about. We've played three away games and one home game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We now got not, one home game yeah, for away not, game. Not, and we've got 10 points. And suddenly, like, no, don't get me wrong. I like being under the radar. I like being under the radar. But, like, you know, I mean, like, I think a lot of these comments. Mate, from my point. Yeah, but hold on, Adrian. My point about yeah, Man United is right. You know? My point about Man United is I'm not taking anything away from our performance because we were exceptional in the second half. But when I look at Man United this year, they're so goddamn lucky to have even got a point, a, a win against Wolves. Wolves tore yeah. them to pieces. If they had a striker, they would have lost. So when I saw that game, I thought something's not right with Man United. When we played them, that when we got control of the game, they had no response. And I thought this isn't the same Man United. And then True. against Arsenal, those negative counter they basically did Conte ball. Man United went to Arsenal and played Conte ball. And I thought oh, something stinks. I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from anyone who beats Man U because they're still Man United, but something's not right there. They're not. No, but still, still, you're also missing the point that the way Man United yeah. played against you guys, the way they played against you guys and the way they played against Arsenal was very different. Against it, Arsenal, it was, they came that, part of the bus. Let's be honest. They just parked the bus. That still was. That still, still is. That still was a very fine margin game when they played. It Arsenal. wasn't. If you I'm not saying if, like, I'm not because because like well, it, it was one to, one. It was one one with four agree, minutes to but, go. But still, but still, you always tell me about facts and stats. If you read the stats on that game, Arsenal's xG was like two point five. Theirs was zero point seven. So I really yeah, but their possession now they dominated the game. Ball. They dominated huh? the ball. They dominated the ball by what by by having Onana having the most touches of any player. <laughs> Well, they That's had control they of the ball. No, no, they didn't. Arsenal had more p p ball possession. They had 56% ball I, possession. I think, I think, listen, I'm not taking anything away from your win. You won. You deserve to win. On the day, you deserve to win it. I, When I look at the two games, though, I think the Spurs win was more convincing than your win over them. And I'm not being How? biased. I when, think... they could have, when they could have led you 3-0 in the first half. 2-2-2-0. Two, 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 no. they yeah, but, but they, they scored against they you. Penalty. But Stefan, the, 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 the count, the count, yeah, but the counter to that is they scored against you, not us. Yes, from their, the first time they entered our box was in the 29th took. minute and that's they shot and scored. Yes, but that's that luck that you guys have. Where yeah, but we hit the post twice. Teams. In the first no, half, but, we hit the crossbar on the post as, as well in the first half twice. Yes, but but if you if you look at the match and the pure stats, right, we're talking pure stats, they had better XG than you at the end of the game. If they, they had better chances, the quality of the chances were better. If you look at the actual Brentford game, Brentford had better XG than you also. And Buen no, Brentford, Brentford, I'm not talking about Brentford. Brentford, I think we got yeah, lucky. I'm, I'm I think talking, we got lucky against Brentford. No, but I'm, I'm talking about... But we have next week to talk it all out. Next week, because uh, I think I got everybody's predictions. Uh, my prediction, uh, I, I still see Arsenal beating Everton. Uh, Everton's real bad. I feel yeah. soft them because I have a soft spot for Everton. I don't want to see them. Um, um, I want to see them stay up in the league. But right now, the way they're playing, it's it, it doesn't look good. Uh, I think Really, I think two nothing Arsenal over Everton at Kensington Park. Um, Spurs um, against uh, Sheffield United. I'm looking at more three nothing, um, a three nothing score score line. Um, and so, Ellie, your quick predictions: Spurs, Sheffield United, Everton, um, Arsenal. Quickly. Um, I think we'll beat Sheffield United four one. Okay. 
I think we'll score four goals against them. I don't think we're going to keep a clean sheet again because Sheffield United, they're a pretty good team. They're not brilliant, but I think they'll get a goal against us. And I think Everton, Arsenal will be a draw. I think a 2-2 two -two draw. 2-2, two -two. okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm Mari, by the way, give me my Everton result. <laughs> I think I think Arsenal are going to be Everton 2-0. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm, 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 you're... You... <laughs> You, you guys, you, you guys are more confident than me. Goodison Park has been the awful way. For us. The way you won against Man United raised the spirits in your team, and I think you're going well, to be over. Sorry. That I don't know. I just, I to be honest, Stel, I really, even if we win in the ugliest way possible, I really don't care. Like that, that place has been awful for us the last four. I times. think you'll beat them. That's shit. I hope. I don't care shit. if we win one nil and it's like a boring draw. Uh, I'm boring. Just, I'm He's losing back as well. You got yeah, I'm, fed up, well. I'm fed up of predicting, like, yeah, we're going to beat Everton in every year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Every year we say yeah. Everton are terrible, we go there, and they bully us. They usually bully so us. So maybe this time, if we predict, like, oh, it's going to be really tough, maybe a draw if we're lucky, then we might no, actually... No, 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 friend, you know the funniest thing is, if you look at Spurs fans, I think in general are more optimistic about Arsenal winning, like, convincingly at... at, at uh, can I can I ask you a question? They don't know, then, right? they don't know what we've been through. <laughs> right, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, right? If you don't beat Everton and we do beat Sheffield United, do you go into more pressure into that North London derby because Spurs have now pulled away a tiny bit in the league, and we're supposed to be this team that's in the mud, and you're supposed to be the team this year. Yeah. You're going to try and win the league. Yeah. Does that put pressure I... on you for the next game? No. It does. It does for me. It's yeah, just maybe, yeah. the the rivalry and the amount of pressure, like especially for us YouTubers, like if you guys, <laughs> you, you so, know, so, friends, so much pressure, so much pressure for you guys, for YouTubers. Be quickly, <laughs> because, uh, there's more, there's more yeah. pressure than Arsenal. You go into Everton, which is a bogey team for you. So if you get a draw, you come out okay. Then you've got to play Pierce fit midweek when we haven't got a game. Yeah, but and we're like, PSV at home, not, Adrian. Yeah, I know, PSV. but they're no mugs. They're not no mugs, PSV. Yeah, but but they mugs. sold they sold all their best players. Like, I expect us to beat PSV easily. Well, I know they sold Sangara and all that, and I'd like to have They sold Gakko, Sangari, and Simons. They're three best players. Yeah. Did we beat the Super Chat? Tell them away. Big up, Mr. They Box. Sorry, yes, yeah, yeah he's at, uh, he went to PSG, but they loaned him to uh, Leipzig. Yeah, I wanted gone. him. He's calling. Big up, Daniel. My turn done. On the way. Big up. Mr. Box of his question. Who on the I panel? Don't see Arsenal having a convincing win. I don't see him going into all the way. Let me finish, Adrian. Sorry, sorry. I made mean, some fame. Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking everybody's been there for five minutes of fame. Hey. Or it's quite simple. It's quite easy. Um, France a star, by the way. But then you got the, you got the, the the guy that wants his five minutes of fame to try and get the get the fame. It's uh, Stefan. Because honestly, I've never heard such absolute waffle come out of someone else's mouth. Also, I'm going to be very nice. I'm going to be very nice saying this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ellie, and I'm sorry you. Uh, sorry, Kate. You put in a doji in the top eleven. No. Really. You're More having a laugh. Seven. You are More having a laugh. Seven. I'm sorry. Oh, you are having a laugh. You don't understand any you you don't listen, yeah. man. It was in the current side. Was it was in the it was current side. Or in the current side. Regardless yeah. whether it's in the current side or not. I'm sorry. We said he's in Zinchenko. Well, uh, well uh, th th that's debatable at the moment still. Well, that's anyway. what that's we debated, my love, but you come in too late. It's not even, it's, it's not even yeah. debatable. But... It's debatable. I'm sorry. We can't do that anyway. But I love, you, I love you, Ellie. I love you, Ellie, because you, you, you are the queen, yeah, Ellie. So I speak to Ellie all day long. And that's it. We, uh, we, we've we got understanding there. And we, uh, I have respect for you, Kate, even though you copy her Perchy. But then back to you, uh, Muz. That's you, Mario. I'm done. Okay. We're about to end the show. I just have one quick announcement. Next week, next Thursday, it will be the preview of the North London Derby next Thursday, 9.30. I promise, 9.30 to, to, to midnight. We'll, we'll go crazy. Then on Sunday, or well, the day of the game, Sunday, right? It's on Sunday? Yeah, it's on Sunday. Late in the evening, nine o'clock will be no special North London's hours. 
be all crazy. We'll have whoever, everybody in here, and they'll give their opinions. Arsenal, Tottenham, it will be crazy. Um, I could only. It's gonna be a fun week of just craziness. I love it. This it's is why be an absolute I'm, mess. Oh, uh, I can't wait. <laughs> Stel, I love you, you better show up, Stell. You better show up, huh? <laughs> don't don't disappear. Man wants to say something. I was gonna say I'd love to have you lot over as well on my channel or TJ's, and we can do the same thing. So, yeah, yeah, I think it's your information. Yeah, we would love to um jump on this week. Yeah, is... Put your put your number in the private chat. And then we can oh, okay. chat. Yeah, so yeah. we can find you on um, WhatsApp. But uh, yeah, next week it's going to be crazy. YouTube world, everybody's gonna be doing shows. Support everybody. Tottenham Arsenal, support us. Please hit the like, guys. When you hit the like, people will able be able to the algorithm. Supposedly, people will find you. So all I'm gonna say is. Come on, you Spurs. Leave me out. Everybody else, say your sayings. That, that was beautiful. Leave um, you out. Edith out. Arteta sorry. out. Kai Havertz out. <laughs> no, you want Kai Havertz out. Come on, Spurs! <laughs> I, I wanted to say, um, I've been watching for a while, and I 